This main menu is really quiet. What the fuck? Like, I wanted to bleed the music together, but it's super quiet. My mic is terrible. What? Anyone else think the mic is terrible? I think it's on your end, Flexen. Alright, we're playing Disco Elysium. Here we go. Oh, the mouse likes to move even when the game's all tabbed. That's great. Alright, let's do a tweet for this one. So we have um, we have channel points now. I don't really understand what they are, but I just uploaded the coin emote as a placeholder for now. If people like it, we'll keep it. But if we can think of something better, then we'll do to something better. But we'll see. I also found out that for the channel points thing, the uh, Wow, it's loud for me now. The um, the file size is super low. It has to be below 26 kilobytes, which is just like bonkers low. I have no idea why that why it's that low. What's that all about, Twitch? Hey, uh, anyone in chat who is familiar with Photoshop, does does Photoshop like run? Okay, this is gonna sound so stupid if 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 it's not even possible, but like does Photoshop run at a lower frame rate than higher frame rate refresh monitors? Like or, or refresh rate monitors? Sorry. Whenever I have Photoshop open, my mouse looks like it just like it's fucking just lags I'm, as I'm moving it across the screen. It's really weird. Maybe there's a way to set it at a higher, um, higher refresh rate. I don't know. Oh, I just, I just cleared the whole chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have free, free sync or G sync? I have, uh, I. I think it's a G-Sync monitor. I think it's it's one. I have one of those too. I I think it's a G-Sync. Have you heard of a little indie game called Disco Elysium? Disco Elysium. I've never heard of that. Hold on. Let me let me check it out. Yeah. What, you, you guys think I'm not going to do it just because we're playing the game? Damn, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. Okay, we'll be starting at, at some point eventually today, but um, I think I need to go and read what the monoclones even do.
How many people are here? 462 people? What the f... Hmm. I feel like viewership has gone up since Death Stranding. I wonder what that's all about. If you stream more, do you get more viewers? Is this what is known as channel growth? Channel points. Okay, so uh, down in the bottom below the chat window, you might see that there's something called channel points, and ours is a coin. Uh, you might have to refresh to be able to see the coin. Uh, you get to pick the theme. Uh, I picked mono coins because someone in chat suggested a while ago, and I thought it was funny. Uh, I can turn them off, but we're going to keep them on and see how it goes. So um, as you as you're in chat, uh, let me see if there's like a if there's like a channel points tutorial. Because I'm going to move the microphone, sorry. Alright, there we go. You'll earn channel points periodically as you watch enroll channels. Additionally, at certain intervals, you'll receive a click to claim notifications at the bottom of the chat window. Uh, these bonuses will give you more points. So at the bottom of the window, there might be something that says click this to get more points, and it's kind of like an incremental clicker game. Uh, I would like it if you did not do that, even though it's probably going to be bad engagement. Maybe I just broke TOS by telling you I don't want you to do it. Shit. Um, oh, well, uh, I, I kind of feel like I don't want to encourage people to just be mindlessly looking at shit and clicking on it while you're watching my stream. Like, I'd rather that if... Like, you don't feel pressure to do that, but hey, um, I mean, no, click on it, click on it, engagement, engagement. So you get it, like, passively, um, just like an incremental game, but also actively by clicking on prompts as they come up. Um, I think that you get a watch streak when you, when you don't miss a broadcast. Um, channel points are earned through following up just being a raid or automatically claimed on your account. Watching consecutive broadcasts will earn your will increase your watch streak and you will automatically earn additional channel points per consecutive broadcast as you watch as watch streak remains, blah, 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 blah. All right, what do you spend the points on? Okay, so there are options. I can add a custom one or you can highlight your message for uh, 380 points. Okay, I, I, I feel there's something about auto adjust with smart costs. I don't know what that is. We'll just keep it on for now. We'll just use the default settings. Um, you can highlight a message at 380 at 420 you can unlock a random sub emote at 430 you can send a message in sub only mode i turned that off because we're never in sub only mode so i turned that off um at 950 you can choose to un an emote to unlock so if you click enough you can all have a pickle and then at a thousand you can modify a single emote and I have no idea what that does I have no idea what that's all about so there you go um, I, I don't know if that's worth it or not but there you go that's that's how it is I might be able to add like a, a custom reward or something I don't know but that's it cuz create rewards to challenge and recognize your fans like ask me anything play a game with me make me dance rewards can be whatever you want Make me dance. All right, we're creating a, a reward. All right, all right. Re reward name: Make me dab. All right. Add a blurb: I will dab. All right. There we go. Enter amount. Uh, you have to require text. I'm gonna do ten thousand points. Make me dab. I will dab for ten thousand points. All right. There we go. Is it created? 10,000 points, make me dab, I will dab. All right, there we go. Oh, 11,000, oh yeah, you guys are right, you guys are right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, not memeing well enough today. 11,037 monocoins, I will dab. And I will tell you, okay, let, let me give you a preview of what it's gonna be like, okay? I'm gonna say, I'm dabbing. But I didn't dab just then, but I will, will when you do it i will actually dab but i didn't just then because i don't want to give it away for free but like i i will say i'm dabbing while i dab okay that's what it's gonna be all right have lily confirm okay I, I will i will call lily and she will come in and she will confirm yes he just dabbed all right there we go there we go How's it going, everyone? <laughs> it 
20k for a dad joke? Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? I'm this is this is what it is. This is what the stream has become. Fuck it. Let's do it. Channel points. 20k. I don't even know how many points there are. Manage rewards. Add a new custom reward. Alright. Dad joke book joke read aloud. Alright. All right. Okay, there we go. Dad joke book joke read aloud. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, I have 340 coins since the stream started. Oh my god, I'm going to be dabbing a lot. Oh sh shit nuggets. Okay, I, I kind of feel like it's it's too cheap. The dab is too cheap. It's too cheap. It's too cheap. Uh, I love you guys. Hope you had a good weekend. Okay, so uh, this is Disco Elysium. It is a... From what I can tell, it's kind of like a visual novel. Uh, with, like, a Baldur's Gate 2, like, Infinity Engine perspective. Um, I think it reacts to your choices more. That's what I can tell that, that it is. Uh, I played it for uh, 10 minutes and I got stuck. And um, it's in windowed mode. Why is it in windowed mode? I got stuck. Uh, I'll tell you where I got stuck when I get there. I, I skipped through all of the um, I skipped through all of the dialogue, and uh, I just wanted to move around and see and see what it was like. All right, so there we go. So there, there we are. All right, so new game. Okay, so um, I, this is the only time I will ask for help from chat. Do do I want to go with an archetype or do I want to make my own? Like, does it matter? Like, if, I, if I'm if i a thinker, a sensitive, or a physical, is the game ever going to say that to me or should I make my own? All right, we're going to make our own? All right, we're going to make our own. Okay, so should we be, should we be like straight up average Joe, 3333, or should we, should we try and role play a kind of character? Like, what I was thinking of is going here when I was reading these things is that like, Going, vi um, visual calculus, no, not visual calculus, uh, conceptualization and like RPing, doing a Yusuke run. Like what, like what's Yusuke? Yusuke would be like, uh, he's not very intelligent, is he? Um, his psyche is probably really high. He's probably like, like two, two and he's not very intelligent and what, like, like six psyche. Do you guys think Yusuke is intelligent? Should be 444422? Four, 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 two, two? I don't want to have anything at 1. Read all your lines as Yusuke lines? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Okay, how extreme are the pre-made archetypes? So they seem to want you to have... See, they have weaknesses at 1, right? So, like, maybe I should have a weakness at 1. Like, 5 is the highest they go. So they, they want you to be pretty high. So we could go, like... Five, four, two, one. Like, is is Yusuke more intelligent or is he psyche? Like that five, four, two, one. Is that literally a pre-made five? Two, like, <laughs> no, almost though, almost. Yeah, f six is the highest. I don't want to go. I don't want to go that extreme. So like five, four, so uh, f four, five, two, one in the order that they're there. So so good intellect, great psyche, um, weak physique, and terrible uh, motorics. That seems pretty good, right? I think that this this might have um, this might have might be pretty good. Like, is Yusuke is is Yusuke weaker on his physique side or motorics? Is he more agile? Yusuke is pretty ag agile, and he's not all that muscu. He's not that strong guy, right? I don't know. I'm kind of worried about putting physique at one. All right, there you go. So, f does anyone think that I should like take away one in intellect and put like Motorix up, or, or what do you what do you think? Does this does this look about right for Yusuke, or should I should I switch it around a little bit? What do you guys think? While you guys decide, let me say thank you real quick to, to some subs. There's fan art too. Six psyche. Are you sure? Read previous screen. What? 
Okay, so, so these are the archetypes for the idea of what the game wants you think are extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas, sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. That's kind of Yusuke, right? That's pretty Yusuke, but like too strong on the physical stuff. Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. So that's the Strong Terry playthrough. I don't want to go Strong Terry, strong terry again. You guys think we should go six six psyche? All right, fuck it, we'll do it. All right, so three, six, one, two. Should I take away intelligent? Like, like Yusuke's average intelligence. I would say he's average, eh, average to weak. Let's say average. So like it's between it's between this. Do we want two physique or two motorix? I would say two motorix. I would say two motorix. And let's let's go let's go here. All right, so I think we want uh, conceptualization for sure, right? Understand creativity, see art in the world. Okay, so here, here's all of them. Logic. Uh, well, I mean, now we're going with, like, we're going, like, off his shit now. Like, Psyche is up here. Anyway, let's, let's read them all. Logic, wield raw intellectual power, deduce the world. So, uh, that's me for sure. Encyclopedia, call upon all your knowledge, produce fantastic trivia. <laughs> Who knew the world had such wondrous lobsters? Rhetoric, practice the art of pers persuasion, enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse, play the actor, lie and detect lies. Uh, conceptualization, understand creativity, see art in the world, reconstruct crime scenes, make laws of physics work for the law. What? Your capacity to reason, your power to influence yourself and others, how, to, how well your body is built, how well you move your body. Um, hold yourself together, keep your morale up. Oh shit! There's a lot of reading. Oh my god. Uh, empathy. Understand others. Work your your mirror neurons. I don't want. I didn't play this game to read. Authority. Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Use case great at that. Espere decor. Espere decor. Connect to Station Forty One. Understand cop culture. What the fuck is Station Forty One? Suggestion. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Uh, half light, let the body take control, threaten people, shivers, raise the hair on your neck, tune into the city, go to party planet, love and be loved by drugs, flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs, shrug off the pain, they'll have to hurt you more, take the blows, don't let the world kill you, like this, this is really intimidating, ready, aim, fire, see, hear, and smell everything, let no detail go unnoticed, that would be, that would be me, I, I've, I've very, very sensitive sense of smell. The quickest to react, an untouchable man. Sneak under their noses, stunned with immense panache. Master machines, pick locks and pockets. Straighten your back, keep your poker face. Alright, so what the fuck is this? Alright, what's conceptualization? Conceptualization has a special role. It wants you to play in, the, in, in this world. Not the role of cop, but of, of uh, art. <laughs> All right, that's it. I don't care. There's n nothing is going to be better than that. Nothing is going to be better than Art Cop. It enables you to make fresh associations and delve into, into world concepts from Jan Carp's postmodernist Carpere to Relica. I don't even know that Revacol's Re Re Aberesque architectural style. D d <laughs> I'm learning new words. Dead Dread. Dead. Dairy da Dada? De De Dairy Dada. Holy shit. And even the concept of hardcore. And then, importantly, is Yusuke Hardcore Chat to add your own contribution to these works? At high levels, conceptualization makes you go big, perhaps too big. It is ostentatious, demanding grand displays. Why live life when you can throw yourself into a live uh, volcano? At low levels, however, you will be unable to see the world in a creative light. You'll be unable to, to contribute to conversations in an art gallery. Only boring people will invite you to their dust to their dust parties all right that makes me think we should probably put up an in intellect so we can have we can go full art cop i want to go art cop chat don't you want to go art cop okay anyone who's played this game before is there any is there do you think there's a better use gate choice inlaid empire Inlaid Empire is the unfiltered wellspring of imagination, emotion, and foreboding. It enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality, um, gaining insight into what's into that which sight can't see. What's really going on? What do these enigmatic riddles mean for the world fate? At high levels, Inland Empire animates the inanimate. Oh, that's cool. You have conversations with your clothing. Why conversations that may change the course of the investigation if you're not thrown in the loony bin first? With low Inland Empire, however, you'll be void of imagination and character, and then how will you shape the cosmos? Holy shit. 
shit. What the fuck? All right. Um, let's let's go. Let's go. I think if you go five, it upgrades it one more, right? If you set signature. All right. Can you go? Can you go seven? Oh my god, you can. All right. We're going full art cop chat. We're going full art co art cop. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm committing to the art cop run. This is what we're doing. Does anyone does anyone disagree with our choice? I'm going full art cop run. Full art cop. All right. I need to say thank you to some people, but first let's let's just jump in. Here we go. Confirm. All right. Um, how's the sound? There's gonna be voice acting. I skipped through it last time, so I'm we're gonna hear the first one. You guys tell me how it is. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, something. All right. Okay, I turned up a little bit. Begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Ever. Okay, I turned up a little bit. How's that? Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Simply keep on non-existing. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Okay, it, it, can, it literally cannot be any louder now. This is as loud as it gets. This is great. Give me some more. What was that about the X something? This this is great. Yes, it is. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I like nothing. Oh, that's me. The contrarian. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Ancient reptilian brain. The lizard brain. Alon Z, let's go. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Alon Z, let's all go. Right. Nothing town to fuck all borough. <laughs> A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. What? Look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Not you. <laughs> Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal were over. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. Yusuke never belittles himself. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. Hot. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Disco music. All right, so this is a pretty cool as fuck opening so far. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop, I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless disembodied nothing. A stench of neck arises from your mouth and with it, an ungodly headache. Help, someone, cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fire Who am I, sorry. penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. It's a from hell. Oh, that's a different voice. That's the limbic system. Encyclopedia, medium success. Somehow you know what it is. A Cupris Kinema motor carriage? Did I say that right? Oh my god. This is. I, I'm gonna just mispronounce like fucking half of the words in this playthrough. Open your eyes. Oh 
Oh man, this is Yusuke the later years. Ooh woo? Okay, so um, I got stuck here because at a certain point that one of these interact buttons shows up around you and I didn't realize you should click on it. I just thought that was just decoration. So I was like, what do I do? There's nothing left to interact with. Um, all right, so let's go. This magnum size bottle of Com Commodore Red is empty. Hold tab to highlight. Take all. Flare cut trousers. Oh, they have stats? Savor Fair Electrochemistry. What? How do pants do that? Broken window. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. Visual calculus. Easy. Assess the damage. Alright, very high. 97% chance of succeeding. Alright, let's fail it. Oh, we did it. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Look at them. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Oh, did the broken glass show up there? Like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which coincidentally is missing its friend. Congratulations, Congratulations! you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you have only one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. What if I picked up the shoe first? Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that shoe. I don't need it. I don't need any... <laughs> I should go and get that shoe. Task gained. Find your other shoe. A cool wind gushes in. Gain experience plus five. Oh, we got experience for that. Your toes curl up from the cold. All right, let's go get our shoe. Yeah, this right here. I didn't. I didn't think I should click on that. Perception, hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number number. The number number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The Whirling in Rags is a hostile cafeteria on the urban coast frequented by dock workers. Let's get our shoe. Alright. The Shusuke run is a go. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Aluminium is how they say it in the UK, by the way. And I'm guessing Europe? Uh, they say aluminum over here. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Alright. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Conceptualization. Challenging success. Was this not the same... A land that founds empires and lays waste to cities, virile, uncaring towards the little things. Medium success, probably not, no. Are my, s like, skills talking to each other? Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just a vague impression of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror? No way. I'm not doing this. Really? Nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you, you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a, a deluge of world-ending proportions. So, was he drugged, or did he just, like, go on a bender so hard that he, he lost everything? Health, one, morale. So we have three morale and one health? Leo's upset about something. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror. Inland Empire. Success. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. 
Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. <laughs> what? What's wrong? How bad could it be? Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness, the, then the swollenness. It's like there's an, an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. <laughs> I'm sure everything is fine. Touch your nose. It's not. Your nose feels like a balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. Doesn't appear to be a particularly small nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling beneath, between your fingers. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. I'm, don't be scared. It's only your face. It's not like anyone is going to see it. <laughs> Wipe the mirror. Behold. Okay. That's not so bad. That's terrifying. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course I do. It's, um, is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcohol. <laughs> too late you clearly have rigor mortis on your face or wait is that an expression are you trying to make an expression with that face why i'm not making it the face is making it itself i have no idea why it's there it just is please stop it's horrible you're scaring yourself okay try to stop no keep me it try to stop Oh my god, you can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstar? God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Hmm... Hmm, all right, which one? Yusuke doesn't like the ladies. Superstardom, maybe. Got Superstardom. You should check yourself for a pulse, Superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Check for pulse. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Encyclopedia, formidable. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression... <laughs> <laughs> Electric chemistry fossil. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. All right, we're not doing that. All right, please, please succeed. Oh my God, please succeed. I really want to know the source of the expression. Please, please. All right. Yes. It belongs in the, in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time has pa had passed from the failure of revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate un uncontested way of life for our species. How the fuck is this for the expression? Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted in interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. <laughs> For Revacol, your city, that meant only one thing. Oh, no. Gillum, 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 I can't say this name. Gillum Lemillion, I can't say that name, I'm sorry. Revacol, Gilmon, Gilmon Lemillion, Gillum, Willem Dafoe, medium success. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Oh, that's what Yusuke would say. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air, Botit de Nuit, somewhere in R Rivacol West, Gillum's bl Blonde. <laughs> this is a fucking disaster. This is a fucking disaster. <laughs> appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. So I adopted it. Why? Ah, oh, I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. How long ago was the new? Anything else? Like who I am? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? I guess that's it then. Conclude. It's treason then. I feel like I need to add a clicking sound. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features he heavily in Guillaume Lemillion's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. 
So I laughed at it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. Only the grimace remains. How long ago was the new? Some 20 odd years. There's a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression looking good on you or anyone. Humanity has run around in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. We haven't left the first room yet. Anything else like who I am? Why did I trick myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of near of the near history of disco the rest is darkness aside from the useless fact wait that the motor carriage outside was a cupris kinema okay i thought disco was just going to be like it's just a crazy title i didn't realize disco was going to be part of the game i guess that's it then conclude it doesn't have to be you can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Electric chemi- right, are we taking- are we taking the 3% chance? Alright, here we go. Rub, rub your hands together, chat. Send me your energy for the 3% win. Ah, damn it. Impossible failure. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. All right, and we can't do it again. It's locked. All right, let the mirror, the mirror be for now. All right. All right. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends on in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Save or fair, medium, grab the tie. All right, low 20. Okay, here we go, chat. All right, come on. Send me your energy, chat. Here we go. 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 Well, we did it! Nice! You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. We did it! Ceiling fan. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns and that reminds you of a noose. But what Joe didn't know is that if he had failed that check, he would have died. But Joe doesn't know. He doesn't know. But I, who have played this game before, I am in the know. I know. Because I have played this game before, and the streamer has not. <sighs> not reminds you of a noose. Pull on the fan, just for fun. Pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Bring it on. Pull again to turn the lights off. Bring it on. Oh, we... Oh. Okay, we're good. Endurance, you feel something in your chest and a natural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. So I'm guessing this is... <laughs> okay, now are we dead? <laughs> so I'm guessing this is bad. I'm sure it's just some heartburn. Oh God, help someone. So I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end bad. Try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do it. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear and... Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met. Captain Ptolemy Patol Price, the deceased superior officer, commented, That ain't easy on the, on the ticker. He loved his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. But is he diehard man? But I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the... Wait, are we a Mountie? The Royal Canadian Mountie? The officer is on the brink of solving a murder case. Oh, okay, well, that was a short game. Alright, thank you for watching, everybody. That was good. That was fun. I, I just had a good time. Alright. Alright. So, we died from turning on a light? Oh, this is the one I played before and I got out of the room. Alright, go back. We have- wait, that's- that's it? I have to start again from the beginning?
Really? Oh no. All right, what were we? What were we? All right, we just learned a valuable lesson chat. What were we? We were, we were low physique. Okay, if we had higher physique, we would have survived that, right? Physique is health. Oh god. So, every with one physique, we only have one health. This is art cop, right? Fuck it, I'm committed. Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm committed. Fuck it, I'm committed. I'm committed. I'm committed. Fuck it. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. All right, let's just skip through this real quick. There is never, never an inordinate amount of time passing. Yeah. It, you got it, sweet brother. Coming right up, sir. All right. Nothing, town. Not you. Your days of giving a shit. The song of like a fly to the statue. These are all the ones we did, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, F5 is quick save. All right, quick save. All right, let's grab the tie. Grab the tie. All right. Visual calculus, success. Oh, we should have went and picked up the shoe first to see what would happen if you picked up the shoe. Shit, my bad, sorry. I should have picked up the shoe. I should go get that shoe. All right, there we go. Really? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shoe scumming. You must value privacy or privacy. The door has been locked from the inside. Do you think say privacy or privacy, chat? I, I say privacy, because private sounds better to me. So private, privacy. But privacy sounds alright. So I'm going to skip through this as fast as I can and making all the same choices. Uh, really nothing. Um, wipe the mirror. Okay. Wrong with my face. How bad could it be? I'm sure everything's fine. Touch my tongue. I'm scared. I don't want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror. There we go. Um, face to stage alcoholic. I can't remember what I did now. Try to Try to stop. You can't. Superstardom. Check for pulse. Um, all right. Formidable. All right. I hope we get it again. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. All right. Continue. 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 Um, I feel the need to click, click. So I adopted it. How long ago was the new? Anything else? All right. All right. Can we get? Can we get it this time? Can we get it this time? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Let the mirror be for now. All right. You can go save. I'm not. I'm not fucking save scumming rolls. Fuck that. That's for losers and redditors. Can we open the store? No, we can't open that door. But I mean to ask you guys, what's worse, being a weeb or being a boomer? Thylacos by. Percent 28 degrees centigrade limited rain wall. Oh damn. Boomer seems to be boomer seems to be taking it. Alright, now we can walk faster. Alright. So when I played a little bit before, just 
loose lemon. Okay. Um, I went over to talk, talk to her and I just spammed attacks. Spammed oh. attacks. I spammed um, decisions and then she just fucked off. What's this? The calendar says March the year is 51. Okay. So is this like alternate reality? Is it is it post-apocalyptic? I guess we'll find out. Kalasja. Hey, Kalasja. Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Conceptualization. Challenging success. A silver jumpsuit falls off, off her like scale armor. Sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many knights out on the city. Officer, am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. <laughs> All right, can we talk to her again? Officer. Officer. Uh, no. She seems per perplexed by your question. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call me an officer? Klasija says the, oh, so she doesn't say, the only one shakes her head slowly. Medium success, officer, could be an artistic statement. You're already prone to those. Officer is my stage name, right? I can see myself as a middling disco artist called The Officer. That's too wild. Chief technical officer is what I am. Number one. No. No. A police officer, sir. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> You're shitting me. God damn it. God damn right. I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. I like her voice. All this time. You've been here for three days. On official police business, Nola. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Medium success. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a type of drunk? She must have heard something. I might not know where I am or who I am. Or what a corpus kinema is. How do... How I know what one sounds like. What? Why? I don't think I read that properly. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the <laughs> Suggestion challenging. <laughs> Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 17% chance. Oh, this is a red check. It cannot be retried. Alright. Ah, oh, the words have the words have already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. She erupts in laughter, all the fatigue swept away, away from her face. What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. I said I wanted to have sex with you. No, I don't want to. I said I wanted to have sex with you. No, you see, that's not what you said. You said, but she's unable to finish, consumed with laughter. Come on, man, pretty please, one more time. I said I want to have fuck with you. Find s Let's own it, let's own it. God damn right you did, you crazy asshole, you. She wipes the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? I'm a sex cop. Did, did we did we recover? I'm a cop of the apocalypse. All right, so it is post-apocalyptic. Superstar cop. It's been established. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. You're pretty... I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. sure I'm a cop at all. I sure don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. Okay? This is tough. Would Yusuke be a superstar cop or would he be a sorry cop? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like Yusuke would own it. I feel like he would own it and be superstar cop. I feel like he would... I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's vote. Let's vote. Let's vote. Poll. New. What kind of cop are we? Superstar cop. Sorry, cop. 
Are we having fun, chat? How 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 long until we just abandon the Yusuke thing and become Canadian sex cop? There's fan art in anticipation. Oh, I'm sorry, did I miss fan art? Oh, this is awesome. I'm sorry I missed this. Wait, is this done in the style of the game? Holy shit. Where did it go? Shit. Okay, hold on a second. Let me make a new folder for Disco Elysium. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, I have to I, I can't fit the whole thing, but look 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 at look at this. Holy fuck. Hold on, let's like put it. Like see, see like you could like look now it's the dragon, like holy shit man. That's incredible. Thank you so much for that. That's incredible. Put it over your character profile, yeah. Put it down put it down here. Is that safe to do? Does that change as, as, as like, am I, am I gonna, like, miss something in the game because of that, or, or what? It does change? That's so cool, thank you. Okay, let's keep it down there for, for a little while at least. Some people in chat seem to think it's okay. We can still see our health there, right? All right, there we go. All right. And it's not perfectly over it, and that will trigger some people in chat. So I'm really happy with that. Can you look at it again in chat, please? Because I didn't read your name. And now I feel really, really, really bad that I didn't, that I didn't read your name when, when you uh, when you linked it. Q2, thank you, thank you for the, for the streams. Thank you so much, Q2. That's incredible. You're very talented. Thank you so much. Apparently, we're a superstar cop. By the way, that's what vo that's what voting says. We're a superstar cop. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Superstar cop. Superstar cop, it's been established. Okay, that's cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on that superstardom a tiny bit. It means I'm a bloated old drunk with sideburns and disco pants. If I don't have a joke up my sleeve, it's on me. I'm a scion of Guillaume Le Million. Um, I think one. I have certainly been entertained, thank you. Whatever you are, you should stick to it. Otherwise, she extinguishes her cigarette. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. I mean, are we, like... Is, is want to have fuck with you still off the table, or...? And for the record, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Damn. Try the handle. No, let's not try the handle. That that that's um, that's a that's yeah. There is no answer. Easy success. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. I'm so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. Swallow the emotion. Okay, we're not trying to handle. Yusuke would never do something like that. The 
This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Le Mans. Trump Le Mans. Other shoe. Isn't the other shoe outside? Didn't it go through the, the window? Something is on the table. Money. Wait, do we have to go through here? I thought we would like go outside on the other other thing. Look out, you see the morning ocean warm, but yeah. How do, how do we get on the balcony? Oh shit. Are you playing as Yusuke as Joe? Probably a little bit of both. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we got our, our shoes now. The, sea, the smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Test complete. Find your other shoe. Gain experience plus 10. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. Wait. These do not look like normal cop shoes. How do they fit? Discard thought. Discard all the thoughts. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. How do they fit? Good, they're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Nice. Okay, so now that we're outside with this kind of nice music, uh, how's the sound, by the way? Is it a little too loud or is it okay? Uh, let me say a, a, a brief thank you to people that have subbed and given some bits. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ease off on the cringe for a little while, by the way, guys. I'm just gonna say some some just some classy thank yous and um, and then we'll we'll get back to it. It's a tiny bit loud. Okay, maybe we can just turn the music down a little bit then, because I think that you guys want the voice to be a little louder, right? So let's turn the music down a bit and voiceover higher, environmental down. UI, UI's fine, and weather's probably okay like that too. Now, what if this, what if this rain later? Okay, there we go. Is that better? Do, 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 do. Thank you to a pink Teletubby for the new sub. Jewel Seeker for the new sub. I think these might be resubs, actually. I feel like I've said Jewel Seeker before. Dark Flashes for the 21, 21 month resub. Disco Elysium. D I S C O. Uh, Hello, Papa Joe. Heart, have a good day and enjoy the game. Thanks, Dark Flashes. I will try. I'm enjoying it so far. Ardell has. Ardell1 has subscribed for the first time. Thank you very much, Ardell1. Goldbrow1 has just subscribed for three months with a message Wow, Joe's playing yet another weeb game. What a surprise. When will he play a real man's game like Disco Elysium? Kappa Claus can't stay because I want to play through the through sorry, play this game myself. Hope the stream goes well though. It's pretty fun so far. Maybe you'll see the VOD one day, Gold, Goldbrow1. You hear my thank you. Thank you so much. Castom94 has just subscribed for four months. Thank you very much, Castom94. Here's here's one cringe. Welcome to the Disco Dragons. The Seraph of Ch Seraph of Chaos is subscribed for two months. Can rarely watch a stream, but I enjoy the reruns on YouTube. Hopefully, you upload the rest of the Code Vein soon. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit trouble for the Code Vein stuff, and I'm behind on rendering it together. Um, the Devil May Cry stream rendering it with chat failed three times, and it takes hours for that to render. So um, I'm behind on that. So yeah, it's a bit of a problem. And chat the chat in the video still looks like ass. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. I'm I'm behind on it. But it's not all my fault for once. Uh, a Bobster one has resubscribed for two months with Weeb. Damn. Boomer. Damn. Weeb or Boomer. Thank you, a Bobster one. Bike Chan, Like Chan, used to miss to say right before he dabbed, Joe told me, I think I'm going to tab. <laughs> I think I might dab. Ralph calls you 100 bits to say, wait, I don't have to pay bits to have shit she jokes anymore. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, we'll see how this goes. Nice. Very well. I will go along with this. Bloody Hilarious used to say it, Ryuji, one IQ caveman megaphone. There was a murder here, and a part of the Phantom Thieves. Jer Spoiler, Ryuji's in the Phantom Thieves, sorry. Uh, Jerkomatic has resubscribed for 10 months with one sub a day, keeps the weeb away. You're a Jerkomatic, but not that Jerkomatic. Uh, PSL, 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 PSL has resubscribed for 14 months. Hey, Joe, good luck with one of the best RPGs in decade. Really? Is it that good? Like, so far, it's pretty funny, but I don't know if I can... Like, if it's going to have legs for the whole playthrough. I don't know. I hear this is quite a long game, but we'll see. So far, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Dark Flash used 100 bits to say, I can make that upon dab. Uh, we have advanced so much chat. JPH Pickle, I have, I have hope for you, Joe, to enjoy this game. I am so far. What's the maximum amount of points you guys have right now? Channel channel points right now. 
Who's highest? Who's winning? Tell Carmi has rediscovered for seven months. Are we role playing as a weeb again? Is Yusuke a weeb? I don't think Yusuke is a weeb. So technically, technically no. Nine hundred and forty. Oh no, we're get we're getting we're getting close to to, to dab territory. Dangerously close. Doctor Owls used hundred bits to say, "I'm having a rough day, so thank you for this stream. You can keep me company uh, while I hide in bed all day." Haha. <laughs> well, I hope you hope you're feeling better and your day gets better, Doctor Owl, and I hope we can cheer you up a little bit. Be comfy and cozy. Slock the sock has reached scarf for, for three months. I think we our character started off with socks, didn't they? We don't have to find socks. Thank you, Slock the Sock. Fatal Cutie has resubscribed for two months. Inland Empire builds only. Sorry, we didn't go with that. We went with uh, Art Cop instead. Inland Empire sounds really uh, interesting, though. Top Lolly has resubscribed for four months. Hey, hey, Joe. I was wondering if you've heard of this game called Disco Elysium. I have. I have. Now more than ever. Thank you, Top Lolly. Zephyr Lily is using Mrs. Hey, hey, Joe. Just sharing the last of my bits. I'm glad to be able to join you on a live stream again. Finished watching your Death Stranding streams last week and had a blast. Thanks for the fun streams. You're very welcome, Zephyr Lily. I'm glad you enjoyed them. And I hope you're doing well today. Valroriak has resubscribed for six months with six months six months in the Weeb Warehouse. Okay, if you ask for cringe, I'll give you cringe. Six months in the Wifey Warehouse Weebu Wagon. The, the Kanichiwa Kawaii Crew. Saxy Lawyer has subscribed for the first time with a tier two sub. I'm sorry, Saxy Lawyer, we don't have any uh, unique tier two rewards. We're th thinking of maybe making a, a giant pickle out of the emotes with them at some point, or uh, a, and a yaya, because the weeb's got to pay for it. But uh, right now, I'll just have to say thank you. Thank you very much, Saxy Lawyer. Your name is fun to say. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, WeLink1000 has resubscribed for 18 months with a message. The year is 2065. Nano implants in our brain allow us to experience foreign realities. Everyone mods it to meet their their needs. However, the start is the same for all. Hey, you're finally awake. The title fades in. Skyrim. Todd Howard has done it again, and Joe immediately throws up because it's technically VR, and I can't move around Skyrim VR. It's really bad, guys. You have no idea. You have no idea. It's really bad. Thank you, Wheeling 1000. Lonely Hearts is subscribed for five months. Thank you very much, Lonely Hearts. Hopefully not so lonely today. Dieter Meter or no, it's Dieter Meyer or Dieter Meyer Meyer. I don't know. One of those seven. Uh, thank you for the new sub. Welcome to Prime Time. Oh, we we said it just on instinct. Thank you very much. Zephyr Lily has also resubscribed for twelve months. Welcome to the one year club, Zephyr Lily. Welcome to the Disco Dragons. Finally, one year. Nice, JPHUC. Finally, one year. Nice. We're gonna be doing a lot of Yusuke voice today. I feel like it's drifted a bit away from what it was in Persona 5. I wonder if you compared it from then to now, what it would sound like. Uh, thank you, Cosmic Bacon. Spectacular Bacon for the two-month resub. JPH Yusuke. It's the Yusuke run. Thank you very much, Cosmic Bacon. Thank you, Kat Tsurugi from the future. Hopefully that's correct. I always struggle with the same. For the 10-month resub, hello, Mr. Dragon. Hello, right back at you. Disco Dragons today. Reborn2141 has resubscribed for five months. Thank you very much, Reborn2141. Zorg Rocks is 100 bits to say, hey Joe, sad that I'm going to be a VOD boy for this. Shout out to the VOD boys. I'm assuming some of these jokes have already been made, but have you heard of Return of the Overdin? Have you heard of Ayayayaya, etc.? Hope you have fun. No one has made the Overdin joke today that I've noticed. Nope. So you're the first, so congratulations. Uh, Thomas6589 has resubscribed for five months. Thank you very much, Thomas. Five months, five months. Ralph Cogs is 100 bits to say, reload for Hashu. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, reload for Hashu. Thank you very much, Ralph Cogs. Uh, Wuggy Knot has resubscribed for 22 months. Do you know Lily is obsessed with you having like a resub conspiracy, Wuggy? She thinks that you sub more than you sub. She thinks that you found a way to get to get messages through and that you subbed way more than you than you have. I don't know, maybe Lily's on something, I don't know. Thank you, thank you, Wuggy. Uh V Red V has gifted a sub to Wandering Two. Two two. Three months for Wandering Two. Thank you, V Red V. Three months in the Disco Dragons. Um Pucker Starfish you hundred bits to say it's like the devs threw a handful of scrabble tiles against a wall as a name generator. <laughs> All right. Whenever I find a word that I that I can't that I can't pronounce, I'm just gonna call it a, a Scrabble Scrabble generated generated. Oh, uh, thank you, Darshade, for the new sub prime. Welcome to prime time. Welcome to the pickle jar. There's some instinctual cringe for you right there. Thank you, Dar Darshade. I feel like I said your name before. Maybe there's a name that's similar to yours. Crudella has resubscribed for two months. Sorry, I'm. Wow, I just went on autopilot there. Crude oil has gifted a sub to Q2, and that's a two month resub. Thank you very much, Crude oil. Thank you, thank you, and and. 
uh, thank you again for for the uh, in, in case you weren't here when it when it was uh, shown. That's a thing. <laughs> I wonder if anyone just got scared. It was like, whoa, how that get so big all of a sudden? Q2 Q2 made this, and it's really good. Can I? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you again to both of you, Crude Oil and Q2. Uh, Cypher358 has subscribed for Prime for the first time. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the Pickle Jar. Thank you very much for the new sub. Happy S1. Happy happy Psy. No, it might be. It might be an I. Happy S1 has resubscribed for five months with a message. Yay. Yay. Thank you very much, Happy. Happy, happy. Ariel Stannis is using 100 to say, Hey, Joe, I'm a bit late to work, but I got to catch part of this live. So, yay. I'll see you on the VOD. Thanks. With a heart. Oh, thank you, Ariel Stannis. I hope you have a, a as good of a time at work as you possibly can today. And I hope that the, the VOD lives up to your expectations. Shout out again to the VOD boys. Samuel Agi Agurar IUR09. What kind of scrabble is this? <laughs> He's under to say, don't worry, Joe. I want to put on a Santa hat on the Akechi emote so my points will not go towards the, the dab. Can you do that? Are you able to to um to uh to uh, to modify them that much? I'm really curious to see how that goes. I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff, I'm sorry. Uh, Loner Archon has used 500 bits just to cheer. Thank you very much, Loner Archon. Uh, do you know how old StarCraft 2 is now? Like, holy shit. Archon always makes me think of StarCraft 2. And I'm almost in my list here with Susurus. Susurus has resubscribed for four months with, Hey, Joe, what do you know? Not much. How about you, Susurus? Not much. Hey, Joe, what do you know? I don't think anyone's ever said that to me before. Hmm. I feel like this should have happened already. Thank you, Cicerus. Holy moly, Senior Padoli, C9 Padoli, one of those, uh, has reached this for 26 months, and I still haven't got it down with big chonkers. <laughs> Winky. Thank you very much, Holy moly, Senior Padoli. Thank you, thank you. 26 months is a long time, long, long time. Thank you, Talk. To sorry, not Toxic Icor. To T O S X Y Core. Tos. Toxic Icor? Maybe it is maybe supposed to be toxic. That's where my, my eyes went. Thank you for the, for the eight month resub. Core is fine or chore is fine. Core? Right, let's go with core. Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> Joe, are you doing a decades list of games best of? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. But I said that my game of the decade is Undertale. I just did it on, on Twitter yesterday. And it spawned a big conversation, actually. Uh, Twisted Tutsi has resubscribed for 18 months with What Is This Game? An Indie Gem. Um, yep. Along with uh, Dark Souls, it's one of those indie gems. Uh, I think it won Indie Game of the Year at the Game Awards. Uh, I looked it up, by the way, and there were two different categories for indie games. And one of them was the, the Subway Fresh Indie Award. And the other one was just Best Independent Game. And they had different lists. And one of them, the one that wasn't presented, had Baba Is You, Baba Is you in it. And Disco Elysium won both of them. So I think I think they fucked up. I, I think that... They just forgot that they had they they had the independent one lined up first, and then they did the subway eat fresh one. They're like, shit, this is this is a a duplicate. So like, I don't know. When was her company's debut game? Was it? It, it just showed up as independent game for me, or mm, maybe that's what the eat fresh was. I don't know. Either way, yeah, the Disco Elysium won both. So you know, I shouldn't be enjoying this. I I should be sticking to my guns for 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 my Baba, but no. Uh, this game's pretty good so far. Thank you, I really for the 100 bits. Hey, hey, Joe, I really want to watch the stream, but I also want to play it myself. Do you think watching your playthrough would spoil my own experience? I think it might not, actually. The impression I'm getting is that there's a lot of choices, and you want to play this game multiple times as different characters with different strengths. So I kind of think maybe you could watch this, but obviously it's not, like, it would be better if you didn't, if you're going to play the game yourself, but, um... Like to have to have that kind of like a pure experience on your own, but I I do think that it it could like if you don't mind spoilers too much, I think you could still play through it yourself and enjoy it, um, depending on what your what your goal is. If you just want one like pure great playthrough and see all the story and everything, I think you should play it yourself. But if you don't mind seeing different different sides of it, then then you could do it after after watching. Uh, thank you, Lemeniac, for the twenty five month resub. Halfway to fifty. Thank you, Lemeniac. Thank you. Thank you. Always think of Animaniacs when I see your name. Fool's Gold has resubscribed for eight months. Thank you very much, Fool's Gold. Hope you're having a good day. An anonymous cheerer has cheered. Thank you. Uh, Cosm14 Cosm has resubscribed for 12 months. Welcome to the one-year club, Cosm Cosm. 
one year with the Disco Dragons. Haven't been able to watch for the past month. Hope I'll finally have time again. Happy 12 months. Thank you much, Cosm. You've been a you've been a vod boy the, the whole time, or have you not had time to watch watch it all? Because uh, eh, the the Fallen Order streams kind of dragged a little bit, but they did have some really good entertaining moments. Uh, someone made a really good um, uh, highlight reel of that uh, Hard Knock Life Stormtroopers. If you want to go uh, watch that on YouTube, it's it's really well put together. They did a really good job with the music. Uh, and last but not least, thank you, Multi Master World, for the 513 sub. Hey, Joe, did you hear about the kidnapping at school? I heard it's all good, though. The kid woke up. <sighs> thank you, Multi Master World, for that. Thank you, thank you. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Okay, so I think we can move on now, right? We can go down. Can't believe you've done this. Double click to run, press space to stop. Can't believe you missed a thing. All right. You don't know what you've done. The loading is a, a bit long, don't you think? And this is on like one of the new SSD drives. I don't see, I don't see anything. Got troll. Oh no. This is where the lyrics would be. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Speakers connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Oh, that's a nice line. Gart, the cafeteria manager, a man in his late 20s, stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Easy. Success. This was disdain. Sorry, that was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he is purposefully ignoring you. Looks like he's not a fan. What's wrong? Don't you like the officer? Look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? Let's just go over and just look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is a great skua. The seabird is a symbol for discovery of the Insulidian... Ins Insulindian, ins, Insulindian, Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Medium success, something about it makes you feel bitter. What happened to the bird? Can I help you with that? That's the great skewer, right? Say nothing. Look. Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? I'm a cop and I talk to whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. Also an art cop. And a superstar cop. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? So I'm not only... <laughs> so not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero. Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. Both cage and wall, what did I do? What did you not do? First, you took the body down. Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Oh my god, I did all those things. I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. <laughs> I do not appreciate it. Okay, he would, Yusuke would go number two. You're right, you didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He looks down again and keeps plucking at the bird. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. 
and the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did the Sylvie go? She just, you know. He shrugs. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. She just, what? Okay then. So now you're a cop? Forget it. Hmm. Okay, can we- No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You can exhaust everything? Okay, I kind of don't like that. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. I have three cafeterias to manage. Okay, where does Sylvie go? Just, you know. And then, okay then. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's leave. Alright. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your, va of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> my soul is immense utterly it needs to be heard through a pa system by other people this goes well with a the theory i'm developing that i'm a down on my luck superstar person what should i sing when it comes to it finished thought damn a finished thought who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing when it comes to it? I, you have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the people going. No, number one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. Task gained. Sing karaoke. All right. All right. Composure. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Cool. Where's it coming from? Cool. So cool. Where's it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law, office, law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. Actually, now that I hear superstar and law official in a sentence, they sound weird together. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bye. Badass. On the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera, lights, action. Wait, what's that about a ludicrous fantasy world? Action. Some thought gained. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you and you along with it. In an ironic... I can't... Sorry, I fucking fly just threw in my face just flew in my face in an iconic monochrome solution a black silhouette against her rasterized orange world it's on like donkey kong this feels right you belong here all right is that it i thought we were gonna sing wow there's a lot of shit in this game can we nose effect can we just take it This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. A soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Ah, oh, it's Monday? A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. All right, is that, like, I, I doubt it, but now can I say something? No, I'm not. She just, you know. Mm -hmm. No, okay, all right. I don't know what kind of game this is yet. The door is bolted. A sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 1. Check your things on the right UI. This thing down here. So this is our stuff. Okay, is that just like plus 1 to a, like a whole skill point? Bonuses from items. Nice, okay. Sing karaoke. Get hold of a sad song on tape. You need to find a sufficiently tragic tape, then play it on a boom box to memorize the lyrics, then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the evening, more people at the bar than- What the fuck is this game? 
Guillaume Lemillion. Logic, head in the clouds, problem sol What? Whatever happened to Guillaume Lemillion, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation while he suffered and suffered? Did he dematerialize in a cloud of cocaine dust, or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines of, of some starlit Bioit de Newt 20 years ago? Spare a thought for his great ass, too. What? Or wait, maybe he became a police officer in Rivacall West. Hmm. Oh, it's us. All right, internalize. We're researching a problem? First, let's make this absolutely clear. No one is saying you're an actual superstar in the, in the groupies and cocaine riddled with hepatitis C strikes a lion-esque pose with a mic kind of way. You're not Guillaume Lemillion or Davy Dewis, no. You're a metaphorical superstar. You bring that rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect or want to see it, where some would say it doesn't belong. Law enforcement. All right, can we internalize that too? Oh my god. Riva Kalian nation nationhood, inexplicable feminist <laughs> Hobo Cop, Aces High, Aces Low, Lonesome Long Way Home, Coach Physical Instrument, Volumetric Shit Compressor, Torque Dork, Rigorous Self Critique, Cop of the Apocalypse. Mazovian socio-economics, regular law official, indirect modes of taxation, kingdom of conscience, the bow collector, white morning, apricot chewing gum scented one, caustic echo, detective costo, boy de rio, actual art decree, <laughs> overproductive honor glands, finger pistols, 9mm, finger guns, magnesium based life form, bringing of the law, law jaw, advanced race theory, anti object task force, the jam rock shuffle, remote viewers division, motorway south, opiate receptor antagonist, date of birth generator, homosexual underground, Arno van Eyck, fair weather T500, searchlight division, one more door, the, the, the litany of contact mic, hardcore aesthetic, finger on the eject button, cold, uh, cold do mama de cow, de, de, de I don't know how to say that, wasteland of reality, the suicide of crass Mazov, the precarious world, cleaning out the rooms, jmas vu, vu, I actually know what that means, derealization, I get that all the time, I experience that all the time, like daily, I experience that, wompty dompty dom center, bankruptcy, bankruptcy sequence, the insulidian, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Miracle and the fifteenth in in the Indo tribe. Holy shit! There's so much here. Okay, so while this is going on, it seems like we're losing two logic and and another logic. So like the cost of this is three logic. Yeah, bonus of thoughts. Okay. Holy fuck, man. A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Doors open at 4 o'clock. This is so... Like, what? I, this is so much shit. A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour? Two hours? Pretty long. It's drink o'clock. Not now. An hour? Sweet lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time? You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. I've been secretly thinking about this, about it all this time. Actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Now that you mention it, I do need a rum and lemonade. I'd love for Gart to serve me up a beverage, maybe later. I, I feel like we should, like... New start, no, no alcoholism. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade into yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. Lick it. Don't lick it. Lick it, but only a little. <laughs> I mean, I want to do three, but, but two is, is the role playing we're doing. 
What happened, man? You used to be cool. Go get your boring normal person drink then. Find a booze and drink it. Get your drink on or and your act together. All right, let's save it. Oh, auto saved. No, nah, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. I'm not doing it. Hello, sweetie. Lena or Lena? I think it's Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Hello, sweetie. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods toward the man in the orange bomber jacket. Okay, we can't talk to her again. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. What are its hallmarks? Clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. Wait, where do I get such a crown? The idea of a king in a century gone is pretty fascinating. I'd rather know more about the world of today. Wait, where do I get such a crown? It comes free with a six pack of Remillon? Remillon? Roy Dior. The words Roy Dior are stamped into the crown's plastic. The idea of a king in a century gone is pretty fascinating. The sentiment is called. Oh no, anti-centennial nostalgia? Oh, I said that right. Pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now after 50 years. Yeah. Okay, is there anything we missed here? Can we just leave? Summer door closed for the winter. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, before we talk to this guy, um, do, 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 do. Thank you, Penguin Saber, for the 17-month resub. I love how Yusuke is just your default character voice now. Some Nagito sprinkled in would be great, too. No, we're RPing. We're RPing as Yusuke. We're trying to do a Yusuke-ish run, but I don't know if this game supports a Yusuke-ish run. We might have to deviate from it a little bit and become a Canadian sorry cop. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for the resub, Pen Penguin Saber. Sonic Docker has used 500 bits. Have you heard of Disco Elysium? I heard it's a game made with programming. Disco Elysium. Um, Disco Elysium. Mops96 has resubscribed for seven months. Thank you very much, Mops96. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, Mops96. And last but not least on my list for now right now is Ranikel for with a 13-month <clears throat> resub. Did you know the Ayaya song's background music comes from a music named Cisco's Post by German composer Hermann Neck? 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 Necky? Here's hoping you too will have your works covered in weeb trash in the future, for there is no truer immortality, JPH Yusuke. Did you know the Ayana song's background? Well, that sucks for Herman. I'm sorry, Herman. Let's pour one out for Herman later for having something like awful that happening to him. Holy crap. Holy crap. Uh, and thank you, Ben Beats Game, for the 13 month resub as well. It just came in. Thank you very much, Ben Beats Game. Thank you, thank you. This joke gets funny every time it's said, not obnoxious, not obnoxious at all. You're on the wrong stream, buddy. You're on the wrong stream. The Eternal Chan here is running jokes into the ground, Chan. Kim Kitsuragi, a bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. It looks like he's waiting for, for someone, you. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hold on, who is he to me? Shake his hand. Don't shake his hand. Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half-brother. What? Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Kitsuragi. Okay, Kim Kitsuragi. You realize he's waiting for your name. Oh, yes. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative, conceptualize. I don't really know my name. Just call me officer. Yes, invent. Okay, here we are. Yes. 
Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. It is not yet time. I don't really know my name. Just call me Officer. Officer, you Very stay. well, Officer. He's slightly confused. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager? Yeah, I was on like a weekend bender, sorry. What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. You mean him, not toward the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I just talked to him. No, I haven't. There must have been, must have been some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? Wait, there was a murder in this hostel, and instead of solving it, we just went on a massive bender, and oh, <laughs> we just showed up to inspect the crime scene, and instead we drank ourselves into a stupor, and we just, I thought, like, this is where we were staying, and the murder was, like, somewhere else, you know what I mean? Like, this is where we're staying as we're, like, combing through the city. No, the murder's here? <laughs> Holy shit, what kind of a fucking in insane person were we? Yes, the police, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm a <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. Yes, the police. I'm aware. I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? He taps his foot more out of habit than impatient. Than impatience. What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I have, yes. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Tree? And you're throwing shoes out of windows? Dead body? I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know. Yeah, no, completely. <laughs> dead body? Mm -hmm. I don't like sure. dead bodies. But did you take it down from the tree? <laughs> no. So the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a wariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to be <laughs> supposed to do again? Ah, uh, how can you be sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizens' militia on your sleeve and on your back. He points to your jacket. I suppose you could have you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set these impo these possi those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Inspector General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the Rat Squad and isn't supposed to suspect such things. Ah, you mean the Rat Squad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. No need for derogatory terms. They are only doing their job. You said insignia. These w white, white rectangles, you mean. Point to your sleeve. Yes, but they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the, the street grid of Rivacol West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check your pockets. You mean you don't have a badge? It was not on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman, and I have my badge. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, there's a moment's pause, and he continues carefully. If you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. Uh, you would have to, you would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Ah, <sighs> but I can't remember anything. He looks at you for a moment in silence. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through much worse, much worse. Talk to the manager. All right, let's roll. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kim 
Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on You get party members? All right, when do we get a talking skull? Does he follow us? Oh my god. Let's talk Let's talk to, the, to her. Hello again, sweetie. I see you met up with your colleague. She looks at the lieutenant. The lieutenant nods politely. Easy success. Wait, who's sweetie? Her eyes move up and down your person as though t taking your measurements. Her attention is scientific. Who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? You are a handsome man, officer, with your moustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Oh, we're in. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Do you want to have fuck? You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained, I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street. But I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough to, for the motley crew. Hire her on the spot. You seem to be in a chair. How'd you like to roll with me? Oh my god. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. I think Yusuke would say, you seem to be in a chair. Yes, dear. I'm paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion. Hmm, a grenade. Did you fight in a war? I'm sorry, it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. Let's move on. Does everyone have this kind of internal thing going on? Like, or are we unique in this world? Let, fuck it, let's go with the grenade. No, dear, I'm not quite that old, although I was injured in the line of duty. Were you a mountaineer? Were you a tightrope walker? I feel like I was in a war. Were you a mountaineer? Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Rich Richelieu flag on some figurative peak. What did you do then? I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. I'm wearing shoes. You think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. And well, once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. I'm sorry, it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. Let's move on, proceed. That's quite alright. I mean I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. How'd you like to roll with me? Let's do that after afterwards. Her eyes light up. Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, rid ri ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. <sighs> Nothing. I was thinking of the lyrics to a song, Wanna Roll With Me. Neither of these are good. Fuck it, number one. Sequence killers, oh my, she sounds impressed, but I think you already have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Kim, of course, I forgot I had you. I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays into the paranatural. You're probably right, Kim. All right, what about number two? I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. She turn or scrabble. She turns to you, and we'd be much used to you anyway. Why? Three heads are better than two. You're probably right. Thank you, but she looks out the window wistfully. Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place. You see, I'd slow you down. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I'm, where I am, what I'm doing, or anything. Her eyes follow your movements with some concern. Yes, officer, you look rather dazed, like a stunned fox, but surely things can't be that bad. I drank so hard, I forgot literally everything. I hope you're right. I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Forget anything. All right, let's be honest. Oh my, it takes a moment to process. You know where we are, where we are, right? The Whirling in Rags Cafeteria. It was on my keys. We're in Rivacall on Insuland? Insuland? I don't really know. Some seedy hotel? A war zone at the edge of the world. We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. <laughs> Fuck it. Now, now, she tilts her head as she looks up at you with maternal sol solicitude. We are alive in a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, and the Whirling itself is in the city of Rivacall. Mm-hmm, okay. All I know is that Rivacall used to be really cool in the 30s. Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Rivacall. What kind of place is this? Number two. The new disco dancing. It seems like a lifetime ago. Her eyes are filled with light reflected off those gilded years when the city seemed full of possibility. 
Much has changed, but it is still the most beautiful city in the world, a rare jewel set in the sand between the pines. Everyone says so, even foreigners. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, right? It's the spring of 51. Sure, it's the year 973. All I know is we are approaching the end times. It's a bad year. It's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't even know how old I am. There, there. The year is 51, and spring has only just started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. The lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind, we're in this now. Whoa, this is a lot. I can tell this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What re regime are we living under? What mode of government? Some kind of democracy, maybe? I'd like to think it's a dictatorship of the pro proletariat. Proletariat, sorry. No, that's still wrong. Proletariat. Yeah, I did say it right. Proletariat, right? But something tells me it's not. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. What's scary is I've said that word before. We are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations that determine the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners, and women. Cop. We are living under the cop regime. Fuck it. Actually, she raises her finger. We are not. You could say that. You could say that about almost any other nation, but not Rivacall. Try one more time, officer. What mode of government? Um. Foreigners and women. Oh, no, nothing like that, dear. Rivacall is a special administrative region, led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own, and certainly no matriarchy. If there's no government, how come there are cops? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> it is quite disappointing. Yes, a lot of people would like some more representation. There's talk. But for now, the RCM is all we've got. If there's no government, how come there are cops? Oh dear, this is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Rivacall, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been co a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. So, how did I do? What is what is the revolution you mentioned? What? Who could tell me more? You didn't do too well, dear. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things, history and places, remembering reality in a word. It's very odd. Aside, the lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what this world needs. And while and while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. But So I wouldn't worry too much. Oh, we're Geralt again. Fuck, can't get away from it. What is the revolution you mentioned? A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. That was 42 years ago. But what does that have to do? But what does that have to do with there not being any cops? But, but I'm a cop. Whatever it was hasn't stopped me. It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. All right, who could tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. She turns to the lieutenant. No, he looks away. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a, de a detective. So what if we had really high skill in encyclopedia? How would that go? Maybe we actually we do, don't we? Like, don't we have six because we because our intelligence is six? Of course, she turns to you. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated, though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Mardinese. I've got to be going now. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. She gives you a small wave. Interesting. All right. Can we talk to you? Yes. Oh God! All right, let's 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 just progress it. All right, I, I kind of want to I want to go see the dead body in the tree. This is so much reading. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant, Mister Mr. Gart. Gart. Right. Okay. You run this place. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison Fifty Seven. This is an interdistrict investigation. So joining me from Prison Forty One. He looks to you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. The Harbing Harbinger of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. Can I have a drink? Say nothing. Number two. Are you kidding me? 
No, man, help me out. What is golden orange and smells like liquor? Kim is about to say something, let him. It's you. It's obviously you. You smell like liquor and you're orange. See, everyone agrees it's your color scheme. We're right on we're on the right track with this name thing. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. Oh, who's scared? Oh, spooked. Spooked. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? Of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Many of three. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. He Detective? turns to you. Detective? Yes? What? Who? Me? Mm-hmm. I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Ask them. No, I'm good. Pass on the questions. Yeah, I have questions. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. The cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again. He thinks you're, st you're stupid sire. <laughs> sire. <laughs> Uh, rhetoric, medium success. Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more in innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Where exactly is the body? Who killed him? Why did Sylvie go away? You know, I actually can't think of a single thing. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted him up on the tree there. How and how do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that, then you then to your right you should see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Francon Egerian cavalry to fit through. Franco Nigerian? Franco Nigerian. Right? It's, that's got to be it, right? To fit through. Yeah, chat. Spe yeah, okay. This man means the heavy cavalry, in a sense, Franco Negro sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamellar and carried guns, but first and foremost, Franco Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they if he does if he doesn't now? Is that supposed to be no? I'm guessing that's a typo. Did you kill him before you said they hoisted him up on a tree? Who did you mean by they? Oh, he's a bit surprised you caught that. People are saying it was the union dock workers that what that it was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Did the debarders themselves tell her this? Or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company. I hear a mercenary. The uni unionistas probably thought they'd send a message. Did you kill him? 
What are you crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Huh. What did you do to him then? Did you? I have another question. Where did, why did Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. No, before I asked you where, now I'm asking you why she left. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back and because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvia went away. I hope you appreciate that. But you have her number. Lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank you, he says. Mystery solved. Yeah, another victory for Superstar Art Cop. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. This stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. <laughs> I guess I like to be thorough. Everything is something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. You're right. I probably haven't, shouldn't have asked. All right. Number one for sure. Yusuke is a feminist. What? That's right. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I'm a total raging feminist. You heard me. Do you have a phallus in your ear? I said I'm a feminist. I'm not a feminist. I just wanted to see the look on your face. <laughs> in <a s> <laughs> the inexplicable feminist agenda. Is that so, Mr. Feminist? He catches the rest before it leaves his mouth, probably thinking it's, it's best not to say anything. You just got a thought. Click on a thought, the thought cabinet button below to explore it further. Aw, oh, damn, our th fucking thoughts all over the place. Oh, we're almost done with some kind of superstar. Temporary research bonus plus two authority against men. Something stirs in you, something interdisciplinary. Disciplinary. It is a newly found reaction to the tyrannical gender roles around you or something you've always had. One thing is for sure. You're not a mild feminist. <laughs> not semi, but full on feminist. Oh no, these are incendiary thoughts aimed at undermining the very pillars of society. Could you fashion them into some sort of weapon, perhaps? A first strike weapon to decapitate the XY chromosome hegemony. <sighs> I don't know if there's like a drawback from doing these things. Am I like spending skill points doing this? But fuck it, we're going for it. That's all. Oh damn, we got so much experience. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Feminist, he points to you. You owe me f what, 130 real. What's real? Say your fear, slip away unnoticed. Like what, how, what, what, what do you do like? fucking flutter his jacket and fucking run away <laughs> okay we're doing that <laughs> oh no oh, Lennon no <laughs> Lennon no <laughs> one moment you're running like the wind then you're suddenly turned around and giving him the finger furiously with both hands why the lady in the wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip him off? Why both? Fuck you, asshole. Ah, <laughs> oh, two. Watch out. Are we dead? Everything goes dark. Back so soon. I had an accident. So worth it. This did not need to happen. I gave no such commands to my body. I had an accident. It was no accident. Those were disco moves from your spinal cord. The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself to you. Its mysteries are unholy mystery. What? Uh, thank you, Ben Beats Game, for the 13 month resub. Thank you very much. I th did I already say thank you to, to Ben Beats Game? I think I did. Well, there's another thank you, Ben Beats Game. Uh, thank you, Jungle Raba, for the 27 month resub with a claw fist. Claw fist. Lily isn't here to, to, to do her, her claw fist, but thank you, Jungle Raba. Wow, there's more of you. Hidden. I'm so cool. I don't know. That just comes off as a lazy effort at reconceptualizing the antics of a shambling drunk. You are way cold. Cooler than the bottom of the sea. 
Too cool for this world. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? Have you felt the love? Hey, Lily. Hey. Can you say Clawfist real quick for Jungle Robba? Clawfist. You watching the game at all? At the beginning, but not since. Pretty crazy, huh? I didn't see that much of the actual... It's, you were, you it's... were still fiddling with settings and... Same thing to people and stuff. If they can hold up this quality for the whole entire game, I'm really impressed with this. Really, really impressed. And because it's winning so many awards and stuff, I'm guessing that they do. It's really impressive. There's so much to it. Good start then to it. Did you hear about the dabs? Yeah, I heard. Okay. It's a, it's a lot of channel points, though. It's a lot of mono coins. So it's worth it? It's totally worth it. It's worth it. Do you know what the, the exchange rate is of mono coins to shroot bucks? It's like, it's like so much. It's so much. Hey, man, you're the one who has to actually do it. Okay? Totally worth it. If you want to subject yourself to that, that's your business. <laughs> Did you see the fan art? No, I didn't. I missed the fan art. I have to put the other one on the screen. Hold on. They've been being a little bit, uh, especially Leo's not, not listening again, so I've been kind of back and forth a lot. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's really good. It's in the, it's in the style of the game. It's really cool. And this one's going on screen now. The drunk dragon. I'm a super you, you, you did the tie? Yeah. Hold on. Chat can't see it. They're gonna go. They're gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm a superstar cop. Pure disco. Our character's like a, a wasted drunk. I like the tie. I like the loose tie. That's such a good expression. Look at that. This is from Rune H, right? Thank you, Rune H. Smoking the salad, yeah. yeah. This is a like a really good capture of the character. Damn, you even got the bulge right. Thank you for the tea, Lily. You're welcome. How are the kids? They're okay. This Leo's testing me a lot today. Is he? Leo, he was... come here. No. That's not very comes, nice. He comes, but like he has to like inflict his no first. But he's just back and forth. He keeps going in the kitchen. Thank you again, Rune H. And Kate's awake. I can hear her talking. Oh, I just minimized my windows. Shit. All right, we're good. So he said, I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Nice. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying how you felt the love? I sure as hell haven't felt no love. It's okay. It's going fine. What do you mean? That is too bad. An old woman appears out of the blackness. We all need a little love. Are you okay? Oh, did I just say that out loud? Damaged health. Health critical. Are we dead? No. You have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you have sustained your left trapezius. Is it trapezius or is it? I, I, I kind of feel like I've heard it pronounced trape. Not sure. Muscle. Pain surges down your back when you move. No. Are you okay? Ouch. I'm not very okay. Trap. Trapezius. Trapezius. The chair took the brunt of it. Don't worry. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes. Yes. Check on him. Sir, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. The man seems shaken by the incident. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights in a broken window, though. That's 100 square. Oh, a success! He's shaken. Barter now and he'll cave in. <laughs> I won't pay for that window. Ouch. Thank you, Rhetoric. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. 
Cool. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me 60 riel for three nights stay. If you don't have it by tonight, I just can't let you up there. He points upstairs toward your room. And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. Damn, that was a success. So, um, why was I able to... Like, I had a health charge? Did I pick one up somewhere, or what? And... By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't. Do I even have one? I have no idea. No, a place. Oh, the thing I, I, I got at the juicer. Okay. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. Near? South, maybe. Far away. Up on Marvel Hill. Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing. It doesn't mean anything. The name must have some meaning for me. Lieutenant Kitsur K Kitsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel Hill? No, he thinks for a moment, but that, but isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression, a saying, up on Marvel Hill, a great, a great high place, one that is impossible to climb back to. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow, to the exact street, the exact number on a building? I'll live in a dumpster, I don't care, fuck everything, hobo cop. <laughs> I want to go hobo cop, but that that isn't like now we're just breaking RP to do whatever sounds cool. I don't know. All right, we're at a crossroads. We're at a crossroads with hobo cop chat. Do we just do shit that sounds cool, or do we do we stick with with the RP? What's the RP? We're RPing as close to Yusuke from Persona Five as we possibly can. So we're we're an art cop. We're an art cop. But, like, not everything sticks. Let's just find poll new. Do we stick with RP? Or go for whatever is cool. Yusuke. Cool. Alright, there we go. But Yusuke goes on foot to save money. It's true. It's true. I think this one's going to be close. Ooh, it is pretty close. All right. Votes really matter for this one. Yusuke is winning. Okay, I think Yusuke is going to win. I can't promise a perfect Yusuke run because, like, sometimes I might just, like, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, hum and, hem and haw over every single choice. But I will try my best to do what Yusuke would do. 56 to 44. Will you scare run away from the guy and just give him both things? Well, that's what I mean. Like, like, it's tough to, to match it because it's not like Yusuke Simulator. But, you know, that kind of Yusuke art kind of cop kind of thing that is still kind of insane. Like, no matter what, I think your, your character is meant to be wacky. Alright, so we would go with number one. You can try, run some addresses in your head, and when you get the time, maybe this, maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Wow, this is so much shit. Lonesome long way home. Internalize. Oh, we can't. Unlock a new slot to research the thought. Unlockable. How do we unlock it? Is it with a skill? Interesting. When do we get a... When do we get an... When do we level up? Can we upgrade this shit? Hmm. Yes? Tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. Would you say this is a mysterious case? If we're from different precincts, precincts why are we all in the same case? The lieutenant considers your question for a moment before answering no, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? Lieutenant shrugs. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the, the case getting more mysterious than that. I was thinking something otherworldly might be involved. You know, something supranatural. <laughs> 
white male in his 40s. What more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? I don't think you say it would go sexy. I think probably number one. I can assure I can assure nothing like that will happen. Do you know why not? Are you sure? I think something is already happening. Why not? Because it's impossible, I know. I know that. Still, unless... No, something isn't happening because it's not a part of... He makes a precise hand, hand gesture. Reality. Medium success. So desperately mundane. You need to funk this case up. <laughs> There's something the lieutenant isn't seeing. The universe is too irrational, too morally complex. You should convince him. All right, we're crazy and we're just bringing everyone down with us to our level. All right. Or as our character sees it, elevating. Maybe you can tell me what you do know. Maybe... To, sorry, to help me narrow it down a bit. The guy behind the counter thinks some union people hanged a man. Then you're not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? Brief, yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said that there was a dead body behind the Whirling and Rags Hotel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local lock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told Bushi approached the death as part of this dispute. Wait, does the briefing say who the victim was? Why didn't we know? Why didn't we know anything about the caller? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled, using a device of some sort. The desk could, could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now, it appears, they've started executing, too. We cannot allow that. Hold on. And the RCM is... <laughs> Of course, yes, I understand everything now. Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer? I still don't understand anything. RCM. That's us, the Riva Call Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. Oh, we, we're some kind of superstar. Like the like the the um, Spice Girls song, the RCM or Riva Call Citizens Militia is the police force. Okay, can I can I open this and not lose my part? Let's see. Oh, it gets locked in. I thought I could take it out. Oh, shit. Oh. Reva Shawl? That's a weird message. I don't know why you're saying that, Darshade. The RCM or... Reva Call Citizens Militia is the police force you and him are a part of, a self-organized peace court of the occupied city of Reva Call. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Of course, yes, I understand everything now. Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job here is to find the killer. Oh, we got experience for that. That's right. There's no reason to wing anything if you didn't get the brief. That's okay, I did. Three days ago, the RC... Okay, we, we did that. Okay, all right. So, mega cool, I've heard enough. All right, if we're from different, different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, he considers the phrasing, a pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? His eyes narrow. I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being on in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. You know what I'm in on. Retrograde amnesia. Better still than an... Imbecilic cop off. Cop off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my t my take, I almost said take. Ask me <laughs> after we inspected the victim. You should tell me now. This seems relevant. Actually, I have all I need to know. Later, his voice is unflinching. Was there anything else you want to know about the case? All right. Good, Lieutenant Nods. Tell me about the case again. <laughs> I think you should I think you should know that I can't remember anything. Um I want to talk about you. Inland Empire Legendary 14. Why is it legendary? What? 
Is 14 the level and we have 4, so it's like 4 against 14? Convince Kim there's a sexy dark mystery twist in the case. I feel like Yusuke is into the occult and like supernatural things and memento stuff. I think he would do that. Nope. Only banal things strike you. At the core, you're a very banal person with a very small soul. Damage. Oh, we took a morale hit. No. Can we do it again? Oh, shit. What happens if we lose all of our morale? Do we die? When was the last time we saved it? Hold on. Ooh, who do you think you are? They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. <laughs> it would be insane, they say. To all this you say, fuck off and die in a cool voice. You, you people have no idea how good these cops are going to get. They're going to crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. Minus lo one logic, price of self-delusion, learning cap for visual calculus raised to six, suggestion raised to six, electrochemistry raised to six, compos composure raised to six. All right, I don't even know what the fuck this is all about, man. Alright, some kind of superstar. Alright, so this is like a talent that's locked in. So we can't lock this in because, alright. Holy shit, man. This game's so weird and cool. Alright, so, like, I'm gonna save it because I want to see what happens if I run out of morale. Yes. Do, I just, do I just die? Alright. Damage morale. Despair. Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Let corpses hang on trees. I'm quitting. Fuck you. I've wasted my life protecting humans. They don't deserve it. I'm done. No one even likes cops. I wish I was fucking dead. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck me, please. The rage you have. Please, the rage you have for after we finish the investigation. Please, the rage? That's kind of a weird thing to say. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. <laughs> Another police officer resigned from the RCM following the nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking occasionally, throwing excrement at passersby, shouting, I never loved that woman. When asked to comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was pre 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 precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match, said Captain Ptolemy Price, once the man's superior officer. It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions. In any way, police work really burns you out after a while. Satellite officer Jean Viquemer, the deranged former cop's partner, commented, Sergeant Mac Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely, sta merely saying whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Damn, alright. Okay, so I don't want to save Scum, but I want to see if it's possible to save Scum. If I keep reloading over and over again, could we get it? Yes. Okay, what's what's quick load? F9? Like is it is it baked in? Chat says yes, I want to confirm. Like is is RNG baked in for each for each yes. time or what? Okay, so it's not. What if you, what if you did it? Did what? The hanged man. Alright, that's the only time we're gonna save scum. I'm not gonna save scum for the for the rest of the game now. This is the only time I'm save scumming. Because I wanna see. Did what? The hanged man. Yes, you killed him. And then, as part of the plan, you drowned out the memory. Maybe this is why your chest feels so hollow. You did an awful thing. 
and you can't even bring yourself to acknowledge it. Kim, I think I may be the murderer. I killed the man and then tricked myself into forgetting about it. Keep it to yourself. This is a burden you bear. Okay, fine. Alright, you guys don't get to see it. You guys don't get to see it. We safe scum back. How do I get my sanity back? Hey Kim, you want you wanna go meet the girl? All right, you're here, Kim. Still no answer. Knock again, much harder. Lieutenant gives you a quick glance. All right, now we can blame Kim. Oh God damn it! All right, well, Kim comments on our on our state of our room. What happened here? Kim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. Empathy. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. You're looking at this destruction. I'm sorry for this. I did it my way. This is where the magic happens. Say nothing. Nod stoically. He takes a step toward the door. Like he'd like to leave. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after after nine. No time to rest yet. Huh. Well, it's after nine. No, it's not, because it's 24 o'clock. My bad. Can we get in here yet? Okay, wasn't there something about going through a door here or something? I forget what he said now. What's that? A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Yes. No response, he just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. What's wrong with personal affairs? So what should I concentrate on? But I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Move on. What's wrong with personal affairs? Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. The RCM de de deploys a self-styled structure called the decomptage. As its chain of command, every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. Fine, we should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. So what should I concentrate on? Try work, the case at hand. Alright. Move on. Is it these the same? Really? The lieutenant gives you a look, thorough, as if performing triage. You look fine to me. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and had no idea who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. It's not psychological. Some sort of major brain damage has occurred on an unprecedented scale. Okay, then. Okay then. See, I wonder if it's it's flawed. Like, would would Yusuke just kind of just go along with it and try not to call attention to it, or would he be more honest? I don't know. That's hard to know. I won't talk about you. 
Yes, see you. But Yusuke wouldn't exhaust every single dialogue option, right? What kind of Canadian does speak French? Like the one that wasn't born here. We'll work to We'll work better together if we have more rapport. Come on, Lieutenant. Open up a little. You're right. What's there to know about a lame Binoclard? Rapport. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right. For the good investigation, what do you want to know? You're wearing glasses. Yep. That's correct. Legendary failure. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. <laughs> no, I don't. Glasses are cool, I guess. What? Are they? They're mostly just cumbersome. Medium failure. You could use a good normal pair yourself. You don't look like other people around here. That's because I'm half sealite or quarter. My father's father was from seal. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side, he shakes his head. It's not an interesting topic. What is seal? It's a part of the world officer, a geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I'm, I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seal is a protectionist, isolationist, pan, panisolary state west of the Insulindian, oh, for fuck's sake, Insul Indian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Okay, I guess it's not interesting then. You're only making it sound uninteresting. I still want to know more about Seal. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seal light. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seal. It see he seems almost proud of, of these things. I'm a regular Riva Shielery. A point of pride to him. Tell me a secret about yourself. There's no way he's going to tell a secret. Lieutenant narrows a single eyebrow. No. Ask again, please. Your brain sends a signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. What's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. Give up. There's nothing you can do. Lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow. You seem to regain control of yourself. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Ah, oh, nice. The lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. But this, but this isn't an old school case. I get it. You're one of those old school detectives nods respectfully so how do you you know tap the side of your head <laughs> so you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything i can't say that it does no when i need to think i just use my notebook lieutenant produces a small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages we all have our different mediums he has written that's all for now you seem to be following me uh, what if I want to work this case alone? Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in deranged state. You have trouble remembering things. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've re until you, you've regained control of your faculties. Oh man, that's like three typos in a row now, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, with this amount of text, that's all right. I know what the RCM is. That's good. But what if I need some me time? Some you time, the lieutenant considers this a moment. This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Okay, I'll leave the self-care work self-care for non-work hours. Please do, he says. We wouldn't want your regimen to spill over into the investigation. Alright. Okay, let's save it again. And then let's talk to this person, but first. VOD Squad Ambassador has resubscribed for two months. The VOD Squad is pleased. How did I miss the first sub from VOD Squad Ambassador? That's great. Thank you, VOD Squad Ambassador. I support this. Best Olaf NA has used some bits to say, Hey, it might not seem like much, but I wanted to thank you for the content on your YouTube channel. I was recommended videos and have watched a lot of the long-form reviews. They're... They're... Create. I think it's meant to be great. Uh, please continue making making these. Show love, show love. Thank you, best Olaf and A. 
I'm glad you like the videos. Thank you. I am 991000. Use some bits to say I'm just here to get get bits for mono coins. You get you get mono coins for your bits. Anton1699 has used 50 bits to say, oh my god, for the low low price of just 1,000 mono coins, you can put a Santa hat on Pickle Nagito. You skate share. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, someone put like like a finger up. Wait, you guys are editing the emails like that? Oh, so is it like a set thing that Twitch has and you can put stuff over the emails? Oh, nice. Santa hat. Oh, that's a cool system. I like that. That's probably the best feature of that. Cool. That's fun. Nice. Yusuke Santa. All right, nice. Uh, thank you, Mr. Silverstrike, for the 5 on 3 sub. Thank you very much. We're not we're we're dialing back on the cringe today. We're having a cringe free day. Thank you, Mr. Silver Strike. But still five months in, in the Disco Dragons. And best Olaf NA used another hundred bits to say, New Year channel. I was recommended to you YouTube like two days ago and I absolutely love your long form reviews that you've made. You make really great content. I wanted to show my appreciation for that content. Oh thanks, Best Olaf NA. You didn't have to, to do another message with with hundred bits. Like I it just takes me a while to read the bits sometimes, but thank you so much. Thank you for the message. Is that <laughs> Jackie Pout with Rudolph Fred nose and antler? <laughs> That's adorable, Shipko Sink. That's adorable. So when you when you unlock that, does everyone have access to it, or is it just just you? Like, does it go into a pool, or no? I'm gonna guess no. That's adorable. It's personal. The RCM and Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised. I have some questions for you. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. Of course. What can I help you with? We need directions. I'm looking for a dead body. Oh, that. She points north. That's right there in the yard. She's relieved someone has come for it, finally. Where am I? What do you mean? I'm a bit disoriented. This is Rivashal, right? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. She looks around, thinking what else to say. This intersection is called Roundabout North. What's what is up in the north? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements, not a lot really. What is in east? The harbor gate in the east, sorry. Harbor gate some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics, she shrugs. A fritte store too? What's in the south? Some shops and a bridge, the canal bridge. Uh, leads to the coast, but it's broken. I think some kind of accident probably what is on the other side of the canal Just coast there's a little fishing village down there and a fish market But that got closed down ages ago. What is in the west? She looks at the water squinting. It's just water. No, actually I think they call it the Martinez Inlet there is, There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Thanks. That's it for now. Who are you exactly? Me, I'm just a gardener cool. And what are you doing here? Good to meet you. Just a gardener another question then I'm pleased to meet you too, officer. I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She gestures over her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done. She realizes she's about to criticize your work or lack thereof. There's a corpse there keeping you from doing your work. Yes, she looks relieved. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Thank you. She smiles politely. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. I have to run, literally. Of course, I won't hold you hold you back. She wipes her brow with the canary yellow glove. Her gloves, you get a feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. One more thing, can I borrow your gloves? Surely, surely we have gloves from, from, from Kim. No, those gloves aren't really my style. Sure, keep them, I have another pair. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. Thank you. All right, do these have like special uh, properties? Interfacing. Oh, nice, let's keep them on forever. Wait, why is it still, oh, is this something different? The street sign reads, fuck the police. Damn. Pigs go home, the street name is, leg is legible. Damn, no wonder Reddit loves this game. What's this thing? Oh man, this thing looks cool. Before, before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. 
This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Cupris Kinema motor carriage opened the door. In the cabin, you were welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Pick up the radio. Okay, I want to go see the body. Let's let's leave. I want to go see the body. I, I, I'm guessing we can come back and do this afterwards. I want to go see the body. Unless... Oh, God. What the fuck? What? No, body. What the fuck? Someone wants to see my stat breakdown? 6, 3, 1, 2. That's our stat breakdown. Wasn't it... Wasn't it 6, 4? No, we were going 5, 4. Okay, 6, six 3. Read the clothes. Read the clothes. This here, thick latex gardening gloves and class, classic canary yellow. Maybe you should retire, take up gardening as a hobby. It's worth a thought. Like you want, looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. <laughs> it has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back of the right sleeve. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's piss soaked, cum stained party pants. Cool. The necktie is adorned with a garish pattern. It's disturbingly vivid. Somehow you feel as it would, as if it would be wrong to ever take it off. It's your friend now. You will betray it if you change it for some boring scarf. They may have lost some of their luster over the years, but these green crocodile leather shoes fit you perfectly. All right, I'm I'm happy. Okay, this is gonna sound so asinine to some people, I know, but I'm actually really impressed that there's a game that will even like put that in it, right? Like it seems like video games are so scared to, to go anywhere mature with anything, and and apart from just gore. So like I'm not, it's not the only one, but I'm really impressed that they'll go there. I gotta say. Wait, are you throwing things at the body? Cool. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Kono's got this! The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh yeah! Never could be, Kuno! What other kid? Hey, kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig! She's coming up strong! Throwing rocks! Throwing rocks, I am. Electrochemistry. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno's riding this, see? He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! Kim, what should we do? Are you kid siblings? Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a <laughs> That's Yusuke. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Kim, what should we what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. Okay. That's ominous. The language these kids are using pure unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with these with those creatures. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He throws another rock. He's calling us f Kuno. He says we're fucking 
Kenny Chaba. Okay, so I'm simultaneously impressed again that they'll go there, but I'm also disappointed that they censored it. So what does that say about me? I don't know. Like, if you're gonna say it, say it. I don't know. Anyway, look, I have questions for you. Alright, entertain the cool no. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The body. What do you know about it? About the crime scene you kids often play in this yard? I gotta ask, who is Kuno? <laughs> Kuno's Kuno pig. The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using a third person perspective as a shield. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. So you refer to yourself in the third person. Kuno, is that some kind of gang name? Got it, another question. Yusuke would just like, doesn't doesn't get the, get, get the cue. Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. He seems offended. Don't throw that book shit at Kuno. Kuno's n Kuno knows you're lying. Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's going to put his hands on you. The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent like a fire alarm. The sound gets louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! The boy joins in. He's got the Kuno! Help! I'm not doing anything. See? <laughs> Everybody, please. He's digging his dick out. Escalate, Kuno. His dick is out. You're afraid. Pigs are hurting Kuno. Somebody, please. It's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinez. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to reason. All right, physical instrument. All right, Yusuke wouldn't do that. I don't think. I don't think he would. And it's a low success rate anyway. I don't think. I don't think. I think Yusuke would do that. Be logical, kid. I haven't done anything to you. What is this dick charade? Who put you up to this? Are you high right now? <laughs> I think our guy would like, this is a conspiracy. No one, he whispers suddenly. Kuno's doing this because he likes it, pig. This is where Kuno establishes dominance over you. Change your plan. You can't let that happen. It will make things harder down the line. You may, may end up missing crucial information. Help the pigs gagging him. Gagging him? Kuno can't speak. Um... Be logical. Fucking logical. He snorts help. The local pig is fiddling Kuno. No, the boy screams, his freckled face contorted in a hideous uncontainable laughter. Get off Kuno, you sick fat fuck. The nearly psychopathic way that they can slip in and out of the act implies you're not the first victim. Someone put you up to this. You put him up to this yourself when you decide to talk to him in the first place. Listen to your... Okay, now I'm at the crossroads. Should like If they're censoring it, I should censor it. If they spelt it out like I'm reading it, I think I would say it, but I'm not going to. Friend, Kuno hawks a loogie on the ground. The phlegm is yellowish and bubbling somehow. Did Gart put you up to this? Kim, did you do this? It was the harbor, wasn't it? They're trying to compromise me. I can hear them laughing now. Okay, no one put you up to this. Did someone put him up to it? I have no idea. I have no inf I have no I don't have enough information. No one put you up to it. Alright, just just back off. Look, fig, Kuno whispers, even softer than before, vanishingly silent. For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. I know you wanted to hit me. He lets it linger. You got that I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. Relax, he can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. No! <laughs> yes, but I didn't act on it. It was just a fantasy. Yes, how do I get back to it? I want to go back to that thought. How do you know that? You can't see inside my head, whisper. Can you read my mind, Kuno? Okay, do we out crazy the crazy or do we just say no? No. I know what you thought. 
I'm going to fuck that Kuno up. I'm going to shut that shit down. You know what? You should have, because now he raises he raises his voice again. <sighs> Number four. You're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. He spreads his arms, taking the minion over the yard. King Kuno. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch. You're going to be in this shit with Kuno. No, the lieutenant almost rolls his eyes. You're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you're going to be in this shit with Kuno forever. The peepo-headed critter doesn't let him finish. A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. Oh, thanks, encyclopedia. N nice peepo. Whatever. I had some questions about the crime scene. Nice peepo. You don't talk to me about my fucking peepo. You don't know where I come from. You're just Kuno's bottom bitch. Whatever. I had some questions about the crime scene. Also, here's Wonderwall. Okay, Kuno is, is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions, but remember, he taps at his temporal lobe. This changes shit. Click, 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 click. Goes the little people wearing asshole behind the fence. Empathy legendary. Figure out what's going on with this kid. All right. 3%? Holy fuck. The body, what do you know about it? About the crime scene you kids often play in this yard? That was a lot for just some kid throwing rocks at a, at, at a corpse. Right, pig, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. Fuck do you want with it? I might have some have questions later. For now, let's talk about something else. The body, what do you know about it? Shitload, pig, what's your question? Uh, <laughs> Kim, help me out here. What do you want? To, what do we want to know? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. The usual being, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Have you seen anything suspicious? I don't think we're going to get anything out of this kid. Let's just move on. We're not going to get anything out of this kid. But that was interesting. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling on rag, whirling in rags. There's something something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. The body is downwind from here. May you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Lieutenant, what do you think could be in there? Keep the hunch to yourself. Trash, food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence too. <laughs> trash can. Yes, I feel like there's something in there. Seems like a responsible assumption. Then we should open it immediately. What do you mean feel? It's extrasensory perception. Whatever is in there holds special signific significance. It's just a hunch. Maybe someone threw something in there. Nothing. I agree. We should get someone from a remote, remote viewers division here. Alright, chat. Go in. He's being sarcastic. Do not ask what the remote viewers division is. What is the remote viewers division? <laughs> All the detectives in the precincts who experience extrasensory perception go to the remote viewers division. Their work is invaluable to the force. It's remarkable how he can keep a straight face. Take note, the lieutenant is well versed in deadpanning. Many of the things he says could be meant in jest. Wow, could we get them here? What kind of extra natural abilities do they possess? There is no remote viewers, div viewers division, is there? Wow, could we get them here? No, because they don't exist. I'm so disappointed right now. I thought there was a remote view viewers division. There isn't, but well, we should still access this container. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage or, or Lieutenant. We could ask for the key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. All right, let's save it. We haven't saved it in a while. Do, 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 do. Uh, Samuel's using this to say the emote modifications are great. You can make it black and white squish thinking squish squish thinking hands Santa hats flips. It's great. You should try it. Oh, that's that's a cool feature. I think that's probably the best feature of them all apart from uh, making me dab of course There's someone in chat right now. You know what? I'm gonna say this even more more than one person in chat right now who is really de debating themselves internally right now. I really want to edit an emote, but I really want to be the first person that gets to 11037 to make Joe dab. And they're like, it's like testing their resolve. They're like, shit, I really want to mess around with that, but I also want to be the dab. <laughs> uh, thank you, Wanye Quest, for gifting us up to Michael Tish. I think for the first time. 
Welcome, Michael Tish. Welcome to the Disco Dragons. That's it for today. Thank you, One Year, one year Quest. Amaror 2 has resubscribed for 12 months. Welcome to the One Year Club, Amaror 2. One year, sadly, not in one trip, though. I think it can be in one trip. I think it's one trip. It doesn't say uh, the streak was ever broken, so I think it was in one trip. 12, 12 months in the one trip troop. Thank you so much. Puckered Starfish used 100 bits to say, I've limited, my, limited myself once a month as to not pester you much. Any interest in playing Star Ocean, The Last Hope? Uh, maybe a little interest. I don't know. I, I've heard about Star Ocean, and it was one of those games I always wanted to play when I was really into JRPGs when I was a teenager. Because Star Ocean is a long series, right? Um, but I, I have no pressing interest right now. That would be a long game, right? Thank you, Mick Shove, for the new sub. Welcome to the Disco Dragons slash Dragons Den. Thank you very much, Mick Shove. Thank you for the new sub. And Surplexius, use 100 bits to say, fun fact, you get twice as many mana coins from being a sub. Do you really? So you can edit twice as many emotes or get twice as many dabs. That's a cool new feature Twitch did. Now that I see the um, the editing, the emotes, I like it. The letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above the sending. This is the logo of the municipality of Rivacall. Is it actually Rivacall or is it Rivacall? Has someone said it yet? In game? Wow, this area is huge. Take. Magnesium plus one morale. All right. Is that the only way to get morale back? All right, let's, let's use it, and let's see if, if we can get morale back in another way. Let's have two. Someone is trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. Okay. This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Oh, you can sleep? Okay. So I'm guessing after we do this body thing, it kind of opens up and we can do a lot more. Like, hmm, okay. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material a turnite. A turnite? What is this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented a turnite in the Vart Vartna Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago, he thought it would last forever, hence the name Eternite. Sadly, the only thing, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's high carcinogenic effect. Alright, let's see if we can win a 28%. Here we go. You may retry. Okay, so what do you lose then? Do you lose morale? Oh, the morale came up before the failure. Because it's nice and orderly, a well-laid palette, easy on the eyes. R rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. What? No, there's more to this. You get a strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say, it's gone now. Feelings pass, you see, especially the small ones. So that's like a random chance to have a recovery afterwards? Maybe? Oh, do we have to get through there to get down here? Okay, I wanna go get the key for the, for the dumpster. I think they censor the F word, but not other swears specifically because it's a slur. Probably. But I mean, like, other mediums just say it, you know? Like, if your characters are saying it, then say it. There are balls inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. It just seems a little immature while also trying to be really mature. Scroll out. Yeah, I, I, I keep... I think it scrolls you back in when you go through a load screen. Hey, can I have the key? Can I help you? Is the trash container out back yours? So about that money I owe. I need a drink. Can you pour me one? Okay, I need... Uh... I see something here. The Whirling Guards, I think... I think I need to talk about. Girls his eyes. What thing? I saw a sign that said the mess hall is reserved for the union. Guard, I saw a sign that said I couldn't go into the kitchen. Why can't I go into the kitchen? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. Maybe I am a cook. I have a search warrant. Maybe there is something per pertinent to the investigation in the kitchen. That's true. He rolls his eyes. He wasn't pan fried. He was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with? He changes his mind. Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until one because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. 
I saw something in the mess hall is reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the, the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb and really types. Think they're big shit, but they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Apparently, if you show yourself homophobic or racist slurs won't be censored. What? Hmm. If that's true, then that, that might m resolve it for me. Word is punished with a ban on Twitch. Um, well, Twitch will allow things to break their, their broad rules if it's part of the media that's being consumed. Like, they have they have something that they, they don't allow nudity, but if it's a part of the, of the game and it's not the focus of the game, then they will allow it. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types think they're big shit, but they're always, but they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. He gives you a meaningful nod. We should find out who this loud faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative and we need info. How do we find them? We don't, we have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. He looks toward the booth. Men are hungry, even, men are hungry, even striking men. If not today, they'll be here tomorrow. There are these things called days. <laughs> you sleep between them. Do you, though? He's saying they'll come after you've slept. Just making it clear you got that. Thanks, logic god. By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. What about hobo cops? That's why. And the neighbors, too. They put their trash there, and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as such, and are are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes, us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. No, it doesn't. Nothing stirs in me, and it isn't callous. It's common sense. Prod at him and find out. Doesn't it seem callous to you, guarding even your leftovers from the poor? We need those keys. Callous, what are you? Kraz Mazov? Oh, yeah, funny. Almost all establishments in Revishal keep... Revishal? Let's go back to Revishal, so we're always getting part of it wrong. Keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. Krasmazov, nom de guerre, was an... <laughs> Economist and historical materialist. He was leading a leading figure on the gr grad side of the Centennial Revolution, where he headed the nine-day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism, Mazovian thought, or Mazovianism. Yum yum, tell me more. Maybe I am Kras Mazov. I'm no Kras Mazov. No one was implying you were, officer. Where were we? We need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. The lieutenant's voice is harsh and sudden. Please cooperate. He takes the keys from under the counter and hands them to you. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Okay. Someone wants me to go mouse over something at the skill. Like giving you bits gets you points, but the emotes are great, and I want to put one one zero through seven points to imagine you doing a dab while you were saying that, Kappa. I promise I actually will dab. Pucker Starfish says, um, Star Ocean, right? It's is Star Ocean, right? The last hope, yeah. It's only long if you aren't paying attention to where to go next and or do end game content. It's a JRPG that I used to love, but I can't play anymore because the weeb tropes are so unbearable. You'd love a joke combat as solid. Oh, okay, that's why you want me to play it. Alright. Oh wow, you can zoom out real far. Okay, so I want me to mouse over the skill. Let's put skill points into perception sight to open this white check. Alright. With a well old, old crack, the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't, maybe you shouldn't. Didn't I just have a premonition that there's something in there? Open the lid. There is, but you won't like it. Sweat forms on your brow, your hand is still on the lid. 
Open the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time, the lieutenant peers in. This hasn't been emptied for, in over, for over a week. Look under the boxes of carton. Pick up, the, pick up the rags. Search for food waste. Close the red. Chow down. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Bastiste Solil cereal? That was hard to say. There are plastic pasta packages below and turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Pick up the, pick up the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Oh, put them on. Grab them. At the legs of the slime-covered jeans begins... Sorry. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes. The lieutenant smells them. Cavadarine cadaverine odor is faint if these belong to the deceased they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay lieutenant produces a black plastic bag marked evidence from his pocket drop them in here officer bag of the trousers kim quickly searches the jeans guitar marked guitar marked blue jeans pockets empty or emptied he wore them with a belt too a wide belt the hoops sorry the loops appear stretched but he looks into the container the belt is missing that's it do you see anything else in there i have another bag here Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for Nope. Reach for it. A drab, long sleeve shirt, olive covered, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Bag the shirt. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in the in an urban scenario. He nods to himself. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste, a yellow old mug that catches your eye, but other than that, a thrown out towel, a mug, that's all. Alright, we should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard, or that one. He nods toward the red haired boy behind him. I'd advise against confronting that force. Yeah, we need to ask the kids who put them here. What? You think someone from the whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and this establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Okay. Lieutenant nods. Search for the, f the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato peels mostly, unidentified sludge, and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, it's food. Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? What? Elbows out. There's nothing more. Alright, this seems... I'm getting enough warnings that I feel like I'm going to die here. Let's keep going. A, bl a blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. It looks like the corner of something. Pick it out. Damaged ledger. Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. How? What? Officer, is that your paperwork? No, it can't be. I don't know what this is. No, it can't be. Yes, it is. Look, he points to it. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've, you've even got an autopsy form. A miserable looking slip of paper sticks to the board. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? It must have been cramping my style. It has a foreboding quality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it for the great bloodletting to begin. Ooh, I think I didn't want to be a cop anymore, so I threw it away. Someone from the whirling threw it in the, threw it in the trash? I don't know. I'm boring. I'd rather not talk about it right now. Probably... Four. Boring. Try dangerous. You should do a thorough inventory of that. Be sure some has not fallen into the. Be sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies. Organized crime, or worse, expelled. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover op operatives. Okay, I'll do that. Say nothing. I don't know, man. Sounds like an order. I don't take those. Okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. He peers into the trash where soggy cartons and rags stink uninvitingly. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see, or are you finished? <laughs> your special eyes. The mug. I'm getting the mug, too. You pick out a broken mug. Alright, some items such as the ledger you found are interactable. Go to your inventory and find the interact tab to read the paper. Okay. You pick out a, a broken mug with an oddly, oddly racist de depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. An antique. Take the mug. An antique. Only in its social sensibility. Take the mug. Mm -hmm. The man briefly glances at the mug, then returns his sight to the trash. Close the lid. The container sounds sounds a muffled gong. That's one thing off the list. The lieutenant sounds relieved. I think we got it. Open the lid again. 
Close the lid. Open the lid again. Close the lid. Leave. All right. So we just got a skill point too, didn't we? Oh, so these have interacts on them separate from items. All right. So how do we find booze and drink it? No, I'm not doing that. Wow. There's so much shit. There's so much shit. Map. Map information incomplete. What? Oh, it's keeping track of the skill checks you currently have in the world. Level up. All right. Do I level up? Okay, I don't. Can I level up intellect? No, I guess I'm, I level up one of these things. Okay, so. How on earth? If I level up one of these, does it level up the base skill? Okay, I'm not a fan that I only have one health point, but I kind of want to commit at the same time too. So physique base, intellect base plus thing. Take the, take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Physique base plus one. All right, I don't really understand how this is gonna how this is gonna work. How do I, do I use a skill point on this? Forget, damn. So if I click on this, unlock. All right, so that's skill point two, right? All right, so skill points are really valuable. And I have no idea how many skill points I'm gonna have for the whole, the whole playthrough. Okay, chat, if I take one in endurance, will that give me an extra health point? Because I, I want more than one health point. I don't want to be afraid the whole time that I'm going to have to die. Endurance is HP, volition is morale. Okay. All right, let's level it up. So physique did not go up. Okay, so if I had six physique, I could I could max out that out to, 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 to six. But three psych gives me that as a base. This is a two. Is that because I took damage? My volition is currently two. So base and bonuses. So we can get, if we can never get this up six, we can level out. Okay, I guess that makes sense. That's a little confusing to me, but I guess it makes sense. All right, now we have two, okay. All right, let's look at the body because we're almost like we're actually we're over time right now. Let's look at the body and then we'll end it. The kid's ladders ladder is rickety but still climbable. The hanged man. Oh man, it's like a tarot card. Why does he have stormtrooper Jerry legs? The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck in an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Endurance legendary. Let go of your nose without throwing up. God, what is that? What is so okay? That sounds to me. This sounds like something that Yusuke would do. All right, we got a three percent chance of winning. Oh, let's do it. Rub your hands together, chat. Here we go. Here we go. I believe. I believe. Oh no! Oh, the smell is repulsive. It pushes you. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd you'd expect. You'd expected more fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Try to walk away. Let it out. You feel a great force wringing you from wringing you from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. 
God, I'm sorry. Fucking corpse. I'm sorry. It's okay, it happens to everyone. The lieutenant hands you his white handkerchief. Th oh, we didn't inspect the shit. I'm sorry, we'll do that afterwards. Thanks, wipe your mouth. I don't need your pity, thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. What? You think ammonia would help? Okay, where do we get ammonia from? I don't need that shit. If you can handle the headache, you nod. Some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. Cadaverine or cadaverine? But not you. I can't hand handle the headache. It's more likely he can handle the smell, unlike you. <sighs> He's being nice. Okay, where do we get ammonia from? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. He nods toward the plaza. If she doesn't have any, there might be some the in the fricked store nearby. Oh, so we, we need to be able to handle this to even begin to inspect it? What's with the blue? God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Active decay, the lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. Already did that. He's about to blow. The cop's going to blow. All right, so we need something to inspect the corpse. Okay, so I think I think we're probably going to be done then. Ladders for kids wouldn't hold the weight of a man. All right, let's look at these items and then we'll go. Interact. Damaged ledger. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from a from plastic board. From plastic board. Barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. That's a very distinct smell. Anything else? I think I got it. There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. It's a metaphor, for you. I brought you a metaphor. Thank you, waterlogged ledger, for spelling it out for us. Below the pathetic, pathetics? Terror. Do not look into its blue heart. Inspect the toilet paper. It's... There's so much. It's just toilet paper sticking out to the back of the plastic clipboard. You can take it off if you want. Take it off. Leave it there. It's cool. Maybe it's kitchen tissue. They look exactly the same. If you want it to be kitchen tissue, it can be kitchen tissue. It's not, though. It's toilet paper. Take it off. Still, We got five experience for that. Still wet the toilet paper. I mean kitchen tissue. Sorry. Peel. Wow. Wow. Sorry. Peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off your finger and voila. The ledger now looks marginally better. Inspect the clip. An al aluminium block runs the width of the board. Biting down on the paperwork, its crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Run your finger across the aluminium. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's rectangular, sparkling with iridescence. You don't know how you didn't notice it before. It is similar to the RCM watermark on your blazer the lieutenant mentioned. Didn't he say something about the headlights of his motor carriage that you can read? that you can read these there. Lieutenant, is this one of the hologram watermarks you mentioned? What? He is lost in his own notes. It takes a moment for him to see it. Yes, a halogen watermark used for adding information to RCM property. Interesting, what kind of information? How can I read it? It depends, aside from the anti-counterfeiting anti stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Maybe yours will have how many cases you've solved. How many years you've been on the force, he's thinking. It'll have that. How can I read it? Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. You mentioned the headlights of your Kinema. Yes, there's a pause. RCM vehicles have headlights tuned especially to, the, to reveal halogen watermarks. This means you can read the watermarks if you just turn the lights on. All right, so is it going to be an interact on the lights, or is, is it going to be open your inventory nearby? I'm going to guess interact. Okay, he returns to his neatly kept notes. White papers. They're not exactly white. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol and covered in dense blue handwriting. In ink escapes into watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs. Once in a while, there's a red stamp that exclaims, Case files commit to paper. The case files themselves are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden cramped up Sorry, crumpled up earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if most, mostly illegible. What's in the, what is in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January of 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pa sorry, pages and an odd naming convention, but there are at least 20, maybe 30 cases undertaken, not completed, mind you. It's the middle of March. You have attempted two cases a week on average. Damn, is two cases a week a good case? A good case, though, Lieutenant. There's a mention of a naming convention there. Count the pages. I have an. I have to open an official case. Is there room? All right. 
huh? He raises his nose from his notes. Two complex cases to undertake is a lot. Yes, you really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it, lest you start making mistakes. Two cases a week appears to have been my load, Lieutenant. I'm not sure I completed them, though. Two, he raises both eyebrows. That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you're making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. Oh, Kim's warming up to us. I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. I burned out all right. A nice brisk pace, the way I like it. I prefer a normal caseload. He turns back to his own case files. It's a matter of methods. Like a fan of gills, the checkered papers... Like a fan of gills, the checkered papers dry in your hand. Okay, I don't understand that. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly legible. Count the pages. There is, for precisely one more, 15 pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checkered grid forms a structure of passages, breaking the case and subtasks to accomplish. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. Commit to paper. Sadly, the ledger only comes with an old, worn-down lead pencil. It's unfitting of this monumental event. Kim, do you have a pen? Lieutenant looks at his blue notebook. Two fat, shiny pens hang from the binder like large caliber bullets on an ammo belt. Ah, oh, that's a good line. He is not really saying anything, just standing there looking at them. Can I have one? Know that I give this to you. He pulls one from the loop with resentment. With this beauty, commit to paper. The tasks you've completed flow out of the blue oblong pen in a brash freehand uncannily similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed for, me for mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect victim's body. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry would come out of place. But poetry would be out of place, sorry. Cross out the ones you've already finished. A satisfying slash sounds across the paper. You're done, it seems to say. And you, and you. Things to be done and things already done. The composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen's militia. Now all that remains is to name the case. Lieutenant, have you by any chance named our case? No, actually, any ideas? The hanged man. The furies are at home in the mirror. The setting sun. Shit on a stick. All right, it's definitely one of the first three. I'm going to say the furies. Furies, yes, well, it's obvious he doesn't like it. I don't know. I have to be honest. I'm not experiencing the internal strife that that refers to. And also, he furrows his brow. Could we make it less poetic somehow? Just a normal case name, you know. Think, what would that be? A good normal name. No, the Furies. Yes, yes. You know what that normal name is, but it's so plain. Anything else, please? No, let's insist. No, all right, the Hanged Man. Great, that's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. The Hanged Man, good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. Fucking boring name. Oh, 30 XP, nice. There was a mention of a naming convention here. Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has its case number written on the margins, yet still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. Oh my, they're, and they're written in capital letters too. A title one might say even, one that draws inspiration from Snoop Fiction and Vespertine Cop Show Staples. Yes, all caps. One is called The Next World Mur Mural. Another, The Square Bullet Hole Murder. <laughs> <laughs> the unsolvable case. Other, other, others appear more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location, and the murder at the hookah parlor. Even the rare article, free collapsing tenement. <sighs> murder features prominently throughout. Kim, all my cases employ a naming convention similar to what we used on ours. Yes, how very childish of you, he mumbles. In your and my defense, almost everyone in the RCM, RCM uses the titular system in addition to the official alphanumeric. Why is that? It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM, right after the, the revolution when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. I seem to have a, to have named a case the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one. He peeks into his notes. The man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that to amuse myself. Damn. Kim, Kim has been a little sundary, but he's warm enough to us. I kind of feel like we're building a rapport. We're, we're definitely getting there. He smiles. I pray his loved ones never find out. What happened to him? Rail spike through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. I'm done inspecting these. 
logic medium. Can I read the, the, the case files now? All right, let's see. All right, this is this is too much. All right, we're going to stop now because we're already 15 minutes over. This is just so fucking long. Holy shit, this game is dense as fuck. I cannot believe how dense this game is. Okay, if, if it can keep this up, for the whole for the whole runtime, I read that this playthrough for this game can take 60 hours, and me reading out loud, I believe it. But I think on average, it's about 30 hours. If it keeps it up, this is a a work of staggering fucking genius. Just I, I can't imagine how difficult this was to make. Holy fuck! This it's just so fucking dense. So dense. Oh man. Anyway, um. Before I go, I have two things to do. I want to say thank you to Seb111 for the new sub. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Disco Dragons. Please enjoy our disco music. Thank you very much, Seb11. Um, and the second thing is I need to ask you guys if you want me to keep playing. Like, Do you want this to be... Should we do this for the rest of the week? And then we'll decide on Thursday if we want to go for the next week or what? What do you think? We Continue playing or what? Seems overwhelmingly yes. Okay, so we'll go for the rest of the week, and if you guys are bored of it by Thursday, then it'll just be a three-stream game, but if you want to finish it, then then we'll see. If it's 20, 30 hours, that's not too bad. Um, it's a little it's a little rough on me, I'm not going to lie, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Like, reading this is, is difficult, but um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I like to mess around a lot too, so we'll see how it goes. But if we settle this in, then take us take us over the holidays and everything. Reading out that Willow number three, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll continue this, and we'll do at least the week. And um, I don't know, maybe it won't be for next week, but we'll see how it goes. Pretty funny game. Uh, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Same disco time, same disco channel.